Hello. Hi, Rose. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. Got my coffee going. And um, we're going to do a little bit of a mixed media thing. I haven't done mixed media in a while, so we're going to do something mixed media related. Almost a little bit. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Let me get my gesso. Where did I put that thing? Think, think, let's think. Not gesso, my model on the face. Oh, I remember. Right, right on my drawers. Where it says media. Hello, Deborah. Good morning, Jean. Good morning, Deborah. We haven't done mixed media in a while, so we're going to do a little bit of a mixed media kind of a... I'm not much of a mixed media, mixed media kind of girl. Oops, sorry. Mixed media, mixed media kind of a girl, but we're going to do a little bit of something. Um, so, Stamperia. I'll give myself some coffee. Hi, Evelyn. Guys, I really like having being able to have my assignments done and be able to play around and not be restricted to watching massive hours of videos and stuff that never accomplishes much of anything. Okay, so Stamperia has um, stone paper. And I'm going to show you the new pack because... I just opened mine. But basically, they have this stone paper. Um, and I purchased mine from my Rusty Crown. You guys know I like this. But she doesn't have any more of it. Um, I'm going to try to see if I place an order of this stuff for my shop. Um, just because I want to do a couple more projects with it. So I think I'm going to carry it on my shop. But you guys are welcome to... Um, check out my Rusty Crown because you guys know I love to support others, especially small businesses. So check, be, you know, go over there, check it out. I was just there. I placed an order with them, but they didn't have the stone paper. Um, so you're more than happy to go over there and check out what they have. Um, I had purchased these rice papers a bit ago. So... Um, we're probably going to play around a little bit with some of this stuff. I'm not sure quite where I'm going to go, but we're um we're also going to use some acrylic paints. I'm going to use some of this um, Seth Epter Paper Artsy chalk acrylic paints and some other acrylic paints because I want to try a technique that I saw Antonio from Stone uh, Stamp Stamperia. And I think they pronounced it, pronounce it, stamp, baby, yeah, something like that. I'm pronouncing it in Spanish. Stamperia, that's what it is. Stamperia instead of stamperia. So, you know, to each your own, however you're going to pronounce it, stamperia, stamperia, whatever you want to call it you say tomato i say tomate you say potato i say papa you know how i am about that kind of stuff so and um, however you want to call it so we're going to use this and this is almost you can sew on it you can wash it it's look at that it feels like god it's almost like you know for those of you guys that are quilters that that um what is it called, guys? Help me out here. Um, that you sew. They have this material that you use um, for sewing. It almost feels like that. Like, I'm not a sewer or anything like that, but I felt it before for uh, once that I was going to do a quilting class. Oh, God, what is it called? One of y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, craft text. It could possibly be like a craft text. Um, but it's got a nice feel to it. And, you know, when you, when you 
play around with it a little bit, you can get a really nice, so I'm gonna probably do two journals, to be honest. And now these journals are available in my shop and I put the link below. These little, um, they're already sewn and they're lined craft cover. So I'm gonna use that. Um, but they have a really nice fiber type feel to it and you're able to sew on it. You're able to get all kinds of neat textures to it. So we're gonna take this um, piece and we're gonna probably, I'm gonna do two forms of it. One, I'm gonna probably do a Mod Podge and some mixed media kind of something, something. And the other one, I am going to try to replicate Something similar to what Antonio from Stamperia or Stamperia, Stampedia, Stamp whatever, uh, um, did in his video for Creativation 2020 that I saw. Um, but I'm not, I don't have his paints or his sprays or anything like that. I have a couple Stamperia sprays, the Aquala, Aqua, Aqua, Aqua colors. He says this is watercolor. Um, and so I'm going to probably use some of that and some other things that I have already here and try to um, supplement. And then I'm going to use one of these elastics. And I will be putting some of these in the store as well. So just stay tuned. I'm just kind of busy, busy, busy. All right. And I'm also going to use a Stamperia, Stamperia, you know, I don't need to keep repeating myself on. I was laughing earlier because, um, and this is a, a Stamperia, um, uh, SeaWorld, and it's by Antonio's, and that's the guy that I saw the video by, um, but I was laughing earlier because my whole life, as far as I can remember from learning English, <laughs> I've always said paper toilet. And, you know, I see all this stuff on social media about the toilet papers and the shortage and all that. First of all, guys, please stay safe. That is the most important beyond all means. Stay safe. Aristi's joining us. So, hi oh, yeah, everyone. Um, so, you gotta make sure you're safe. So, um, but, and she's saying hello to all of you guys, guys, and she's going to be crafting along. Um, but I could never, Eric's always laughing at me. Like, he says, why do you say paper toilet? And I'm like, because it's paper toilet. And he's like, it's not paper toilet. It's toilet paper. And then I see all these TPs and hey, Lord, it is. And so I'm sitting there um, folding laundry this morning. Um, and he's helping me fold the towels and we're talking about toilet paper and I say paper toilet and he's like there you go again he says what are we going to do when we get old I'm going to have to get someone to translate for us because you're going to start losing your mind I said well in Puerto Rico we call it papel de toilet that's where I've always gotten the concept of calling it paper toilet the is same, the same here first go the paper and then the toilet Right, and so my concept, and my brain thinks that it is papel de toilet. Papel de toilet is paper toilet. Actually, here we call it uh, paper toilet in Greek or uh, paper for health. Um, health. Papel de health. Yeah. Paper and health. We call yeah. it for hygiene, hygiene yeah. paper. Yeah, that's what we call it too, papel de sanidad. And yeah. so that's why, see, that's where I have the English, Spanish, Spanish, English translation kind of mixed mumble jumble in this little brain here that I'm sorry, my brain is probably about that small, like I'm not probably about that small, probably about that small, like a size of a nut. And I'm thinking, well, because we say papel de toilet in Spanish. And he's like, it's toilet paper woman we're in america if you've only been here 40 some years 41. you should already know that <laughs> i'm never going to get that concept 
It's papel de toile, paper toilet. <laughs> Tell him that you do it for him so he can use his imagination. I'm going to still keep calling it papel de toile. He knows what I mean. He knows what I mean. He's married. He's been with me for 17 years. He knows. Okay, so let's get this party rocking. What are you making? I just sat here for you. I will probably make some envelopes. And I was sewing uh, um Sheets for my bed, if I may, if I say so, right? You're sewing the sheets for your bed. Your bed, yeah. plural, not singular, not plural. Uh, I was sewing it. Uh, I make it um, the one that um, like like the ones that have corners. How do you say that? The one that uh, that you usually have uh, elastic on the corners. The fitted. Yeah, yeah, the one that you put uh, just like that. I I took some fabric and make a seat for my bed. Ah. Yeah, I ref I think the machine. You did? Oh, yeah, you were telling us that you got it fixed. Yeah, and she and the stupid guy scratched it, and I was really really annoyed because that machine was. Uh, Hi, Lourdes. Hi. I will find the envelopes to craft. Hi. I can sew the happy mail you sent. Huh? I can sew the happy mail you sent because still I haven't. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Jackie. Hi, everybody. Good morning, Miss Jackie. Are you staying safe, hon? You need to stay safe. Do not go out. Do not go out. Repeat. Miss Jackie Huff is not allowed to go out her doors. Okay. You better tell You're on lockdown, Jackie. You're on lockdown, Miss Jackie. You tell Jim that I said that May Larson said you are not allowed out your doors. I know he's not gonna let you out anyway. <laughs> it's crazy out there. It's crazy. Our, our already, yesterday when I checked, you already had four hundred people sick. Well, you know, our, our store, you know, we live in a small town. Our sh Eric's been going in to, you know, stock up on little things here and there. And all, everything is empty. Empty, guys. Empty. It's insane. Let me tell you. The thing I think about this thing is that, I don't know, in World War II, there was a type of people that they were saying in the black market, uh, uh, stuff like food and oil and stuff like that and they were saying black market for gold it's like i see that happening again i see people go and grab tons and tons of stuff and then they go and sell for example a hand yep. sanitizer for 15 euros are you kidding me yeah yeah yep. yeah I, I was watching the uh, my mom had the tv on so it was uh, a home sale uh, you know thing and she was saying one sanitizer and five masks for 15 euros, around $17. And I was, what? Are you kidding me? A hand sanitizer costs one, two, three euros. And um, the mask costs usually one to two euros. So it's, it's, this, it's a this crime. Craziness. It's a crime. This craziness is affecting everything. My concern, my concern is not just, you know, this is my concern. My biggest concern are the elderly, those individuals that cannot get out of their doors because they're homebound and now they have no way of, of getting the supplies that they need to survive throughout this pandemic. You know, these, these young millennials are going out there. The one guy that got the hand sanitizers and all the other things and he got 17,000 bottles of hand sanitizers and he was selling it from eight to seventy dollars a bottle i'm sorry do i feel sorry for you heck no, to the, no i don't feel sorry for you I'm I mean. sorry that amazon pulled your account and and stopped you from price gouging because you should not have sold a bottle he's trying to justify saying he has amazon fees he has all these other fees and shipping fees well guess what I don't feel sorry for you. You bought it for $2 and you're trying to sell it for 70. 
You ought to be ashamed of yourself. And I am even the sorry. even the stores are doing it. CVS was selling, um, I think it was a four pack of, of toilet paper, not even a name brand, for like ten or twelve dollars, something like that. They should have implement a, a law on that. That is price gouging, and you should not you should not be allowed to do that. Did you report the stores? Because it's illegal to do that. It is illegal. It is yeah. illegal. Can you report the store? I, it wasn't my. I, it wasn't the store in my area. I saw it online and on one of the news. It's it's highly. Um, Rose, what we're talking about is a lot of the older generation, or even people that are, um, you know, they might be uh, on chemo or some type of illness that they're homebound, wheelchair, wheelchair bound. Or don't or, even have a car to, or, or transportation to get the stuff, even if they have or, the money. Right. Or, or they, they have, have a budget so they can stock. Right. They have a limited budget so they can buy one item. And they don't think that, you know, something, if you get all the sanitizers, the rest of us will get, uh, will be infected and transmit it to you. Right, and but, you know, there's, don't get that. there's people, you know, the elderly can't, like, there's people that are going out to the stores and, and they're elderly and they're not able to get these supplies because the millennials and the younger generation are, and this one individual that decided to buy 17,000 bottle, bottles of hand sanitizer are taking and clearing out the shelves, not thinking about these other people that you cannot get to these places and uh rose that is wonderful that you're making sure your grandparents are taken care of because you know what there are people out there that are so selfish and they're not thinking about our elderly you know and that's kind of hurtful i, I i'm telling you if i go to a store and i see something like that happening y'all are going to see me on cnn abc fox news somebody well, first, I think we should adopt an elderly person. I thought the same thing. I literally thought about posting. Um, one of you guys has to meet me. I hear myself. Um, I personally. There's an echo. One of you guys have to go to YouTube or something. You have me on. Nope, not me. I have it. I uh, have the sound off. I have the sound. I don't, also. I don't think you the sound is off. It's not me. Make sure you don't have those open with two sounds. Nope, not me. Not I'm not elderly yet. 70 is not elderly. <laughs> it's, it's only happening when you're speaking, Megan. Um, I don't know. All right, maybe it's just a fluke on YouTube. I don't know. Well, anyway, I can't hear it. Okay, it's, I think it stopped. I what can't hear it. Okay, so you know, basically, if they have families, these family members absolutely should be going out there taking care of their their older family members, making sure that they're taken care of. But if you guys can adopt an elderly, I think that would be wonderful. Um, no, Miss Jackie, you're not. You're not elderly. You are a wonderful, young, 21, vivacious, beautiful, crafty friend. All, all those people that are doing that, buying, you know, to price gouge and everything, they should put out a law that anybody that gets reported as doing that, that they'll get fined, arrested, and their stock confiscated and handed out for free. I agree. I strongly agree. It's not, it's not right. I don't feel sorry for that guy. You know what? God yeah. is watching all that. And you know what they say? The rich, you can't take it with you when you go. No, nope, you're not. And you know what? I don't feel sorry. I do not feel sorry for that guy that has 17,000 bottles of nope. um, hand sanitizer in his garage. He should have never done that. He, No one should have done I mean, that's taking advantage of the community during the most difficult moment. What happened with that guy? I only saw the, the thing. He bought it. Why can't he sell it now? Because he was price gouging. He bought it for a dollar or two dollars, and he was trying to sell it at, on Amazon for uh, eight to seventy dollars. 
he was trying to sell it on Amazon? He actually sold several of them, yes, on Amazon. Did, I didn't know you could do that. You can sell on Amazon. Hey, Steve, how are you? Hi, Steve. I had no clue that you could do that. I thought only Amazon could sell on Amazon. Hi, Steve. I know there's some price gouging. Um, there is some price gouging laws. I'm just not too familiar with the laws as far as how they apply and what they can and cannot do. But you know, he he, he probably these people that are doing it they're not getting reported because people are scared. No, I mean, where am I? Where am I going to get it? You know what no, I mean? No, no, they're not scared. They are saying, "I I won't be. I, I will just buy it. I don't care. I will just buy it. I'm lucky I found it." That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. They're not. They're not being reported enough for them. It's not fear. It's you know, people selfish. are afraid. This is the guy that has the loot. Where am I going to get what I need? And if I report him, then I can't get what I need because he's got it all. Right. Well, I'm sorry. You know, they need us. They need to report these people. Yep. They need a report. Okay, guys, so this is what I'm doing. I just took my little notebook that's available for sale in my shop. I kind of aligned it flush against, you know, edge to edge like that. And I want to make a little lip pocket. So I fold it like that. And this is flexible. Uh, Hi, Warley. Um, we can do this, and then I'm gonna probably take it down. Not probably, I am. I'm gonna take it down to the sewing machine, and I am going to. And Arisi, I'm gonna put the camera over to you, and you're gonna show them what you're doing while I run to the sewing machine. Hi, Hi, Hi. Hi, Jackie. I have this envelope my mom found from, from a bookstore. Tons of this envelope, and I don't like the color. And sorry for the quality of my camera, but it doesn't get in better because of the internet. So, those so envelopes are a nappy color, if you can see, they are not white. And um, I, what I do is I take those and let me fold it. And I create, oh, geez. I create this. I do collages and make these things. I'm not like that with collage. Really? So I was trying to, I decorate them both sides. Ooh, are yeah. And you're using real stamps? Are those real stamps in the corner? No, these are washi tape. These are my oh, precious. She she has, has, don't don't get me started. These are my precious. Oh my she has an obsession with her washi tape. I, I have an obsession with washi tape. It's the only thing I spent recently. In the past, I was buying from AliExpress. You know, AliExpress is very cheap, so I was buying latest in the past because you can spend one two dollars and say, okay, I got something. But recently, the past few months, I'm collecting washi tape. I have an obsession with that. I, Pretty I soon, Marissa is going to be price gouging the washi tape stamps. She is. So these, are, these are stunning washi tape. Mm -hmm. because looks, like suspicious. looks suspicious to me. <laughs> Hi, Janet. Who is it? Janet. Hola, Janet. Hi, Janet. So these are envelopes made with collage scraps of papers and washi tape, and you make a composition like, like the glue books, like the glue pages. Hi, Isabel. Major. Hi, Isabel. Says hi. Okay, okay. Just, just let uh, wait, wait. Go ahead, go ahead. Thank you, Evelyn. I'm just sorry <laughs> since many sewing. So I do that. It's compositions, and they have scraps of tiny pieces of papers, and they have uh, stamps on it, and stickers, not stickers, uh, washi mostly. Thank you, Carrie. Oh, I haven't been live for ages. 
Those are pretty. Maybe I even put the the wax seal, but you can open it because you can remove the, the rock like that. It's not stick. The seal is not blue all the way down. This is one of my favorites because it's blue and it's not so girly, girly. Today, my mom thought she has coronavirus. <laughs> Your mom thought that? Yep. Why? She's sick. She's sick. So she has a lung infection again. And uh, he coughs, you know, dry cough, and it's like her lungs are tearing apart. But so he's sick. He, he went to the um, lung uh, doctor uh, three days ago, four days ago. Hi, Tori. And, Hi, Tori. How are you? Thank you. And the lung doctor told her they gave her various in inhalers and antibiotics. So it gave her six different meds. So today she wasn't feeling good at all. And that's bad because my mom has a high tolerance. She, uh, she can stand up and go to work even if she has fever and pain and all that stuff. So she was. Um, in bed and I entered her room because I was curious what happened. She's not up yet. And she said, stay 10 yards away from me. Stay 10 yards away from me. I have coronavirus. <laughs> anyway, I took her temperature and I also contact the, you know, the paramedics, the ambulance stuff and ask them and contact the things. And the basic is that since she doesn't have a fever, she doesn't consider to be a coronavirus. Simple as that. It's just another infection. But it was fun. <laughs> stay away from me, stay away from me. And I get my sewing, the sewing machine. Um, starting to skip. Why Probably because you should be sewing paper. <laughs> but it's okay. So yeah, it's okay. They were furious with me to the repair store when I took them and I told them I'm sewing paper. And I told them, okay, jeans are harder. So how can you sew jeans that it's trouble to sew paper? I don't know. They thought I'm binding books. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I sewed on mine. Here, let me go up here. Hi, Miss Tori. Hi, all of you guys coming in. Guys, yes, thank you so much for joining us on a Sunday, crazy Sunday. Don't forget the thumbs up. Okay, so I just kind of so don't mind the stitches because it's going to be, I'm not a seamstress. I don't pretend to be one, but my sewing machine is starting to skip. So I was checked into that. But hey, it's going to do the job. It did the job. That's all I'm there. So we kind of mitered the corners to suit this little book here. I like that it's so flexible that I can shape it up perfectly. I'm gonna have to get more of this stuff. So I am gonna order some of this for the store because look, it fits perfect. And all we have to do now is I'm gonna put two holes and wrap this around. Um, Probably two hoes in there and wrap this around so that it we're gonna figure it out. Wait, 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 wait. How are we gonna do this? I want put two holes and then this is gonna go in like that. Somehow or another we'll figure it out. Y'all know I think differently than y'all thinking here. Crafting on a bed, I'll be back. I'll be gonna switch my phone so I can go out and work on my stuff. All right, Steve, you have a great Sunday. Bye. Hope well with family. All right, let's put the camera back on Aristi and see what she's doing. What are you doing, Aristi? I think she's I'm just starting to clean papers to make the envelopes. Ah. Ah, ladies, 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 ladies. Oh. Oh my god, skin. 
Look, look, look at this. This is happy man from USA. Ooh. And guess who almost had an orgasm when she saw this? This <laughs> is not just washi tape, it's Tim Hortz washi tape. Oh my God, Timmy. <laughs> Yeah, when I opened the package, I was ah! like that. <laughs> my mom was asking, what happened? What did you see? <laughs> and I was, ah! <laughs> I will have to do a video for that. But if you took more team stuff, so I guess maybe you for this yours, you bought him with washi tape supplies. No, 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 I'm a married <laughs> <laughs> fair husband. <laughs> You will have two, like the wheels on the car. You have four no, no, and one there. You can have them. I haven't, I haven't, you know, probably because I have to make a video for that. Oh, my God. I hope he's doing well after the accident. Yeah, I don't know. He has, I haven't heard from him in a while. I haven't seen him anywhere. I think he's still. I think he's with the guys. They do. They do shows. I just haven't been keeping track of everyone because I've been busy. I just got. I got so much going on, and I haven't been keeping track of a lot of people. So I'm sure he's doing well. I'm going in about a half inch, guys. We can't. Does anyone go? Anyone watch the guys so they will know if he's there or not? Uh, he is with the guys, I think. I think he's with the guys. They would have said something to me if something happened, not for sure. I'm sure. All right, we're going to go in about a half inch. See what I mean about my, my crazy, my crazy ass? There is a mark right there. I'm going to put a brad right around there. Did you find the big brands that you were searching for? I haven't even looked in the stores, to be honest. I haven't, I haven't left my house to go craft shopping. I was going to go the other day. Remember I said I was going to go look for some sequins and I just didn't feel like going out. And then yesterday I worked on my schoolwork all day. And I cleaned. I, I was busy yesterday. We cleaned the garage. I got my house clean. I fixed some lasagna. Where is my... I was busy. Too busy to worry about looking for. I don't think we have any nearby, so I guess that's why I didn't even bother looking. Carrie, where did you see Tim Holtz? Did you say you saw him after his surgery and he seems to be doing well? Tim Holtz had a heart attack last year, but not this year. I'm actually saying I saw Tim Holtz after his surgery and he seems to be doing well. He had another surgery? Because I know last year he had a heart attack. Or something yeah, that was, that was to that right here. Here. It's something to do that. I mean either oh, or. yeah last year. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're gonna use two eyelets and we're just gonna puncture. We're gonna keep doing these eyelets. Are you gonna paint today? I am going to paint. I'm going to paint. I'm going to model. I'm going to, I'm going to do a little bit of mixed media. I haven't done that in a while. I ordered um, some stuff to do a paintbrush and some other stuff. So, because I haven't done mixed media in a while. I don't have a whole lot of mixed media stuff. Not that you need a whole lot of stuff to make mixed media, but I really didn't have I will be back shortly. Have a Red Cross web meeting. Oh, that's right. 
We had so much fun with our live stream last night. I didn't get to. I didn't even get to see it because I didn't even know you guys were on. Did you watch it, Isabel? Um, Lourdes. Hi, Deborah. I just saw her. She was here. Did you watch the girls yesterday? Yes, Lourdes. I was on the live. You were there. Yeah, I was there. I was. I was uh, in there. I was helping Monterey. How were you? Cool. Mm -hmm. I saw we had, a, we had a good time. It was nice. Janet had beautiful, has beautiful long hair. Oh my god, yes, she does. She has beautiful long hair. Okay, so we did that, and we're just going to. I'm not going to put my elastic because we're going to do some water coloring. And the way Antonio did, he just used that aqua thingy. Hi, Judy. Hi, Judy. We're going to. You're welcome, Janet. It was a pleasure. I enjoyed myself. Even though I didn't get any food. They had me, what was it, Bianda and Bacalao last night? Yeah, uh huh. They didn't share. They had Bianda and Bacalao. I believe that's what it, I remember them saying. They didn't share. And then they had salmon, I think it was the day before. They didn't share either. Oh, yeah. I'm wondering why that one was a little bit long. I'm like, why is that so darn long? I'm expecting more um videos from those two because Isabel's over there for the week. Is she? Mm -hmm. So I'm expecting some creativity to come out of there. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to put one of these. And these elastic, I'm going to put, put them in the store because I have too many. I don't think I'll ever get through all that. So we're going to have que mala, Mira que mala. We just had eggs with shrimp. Somebody smack her. Somebody. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh, my dog. Sorry. Shrimp and salmon. Oh, yes. Lifting Mississippi up in prayer. Hope everything, everything goes well. And vegetable. Mira que mala. You're lucky I don't have enough gas to get to you guys. Otherwise, you'd be giving me dinner tonight. That's the egg bowl of I think that's May's phone. Hold on, guys. I'm going to have to. All right, guys. That's a good part of this conversation. Yeah, I see it. I see it, Janet. Eggs and shrimp or vegetables. Yeah, I know. You, you, I know. Don't rub it in. No need to rub it in. <laughs> Are you jealous, Lourdes? Yeah, Are man. you done with now? I mean, I got eggs, but I don't have shrimp. <laughs> I don't think I've ever, ever had eggs and shrimp. Oh my God, and they're having octopus salad. I haven't had that. Oh, that, oh my God, that I do love. Octopus. Oh my God. Look, look how mala son, mala son. Scramble egg with lots of pepper, onions, and toast, and coffee. Mira, Isabel, just as bad as the other one. Hush their mouths. Hush. Hush your mouth. Hush. 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 Show. Look, Gina, you're so cute, Jean. She goes, I had Chinese food last night. I like Chinese. Oh, I want I want some Chinese food. I've been craving Chinese food. But the girl too, I won't let him go to the restaurant to get it. Well, me it's not the matter of going to the restaurant. It's a matter of that the one here we got um um Stomach ache for after eating there, so mm. yeah. Hi, Debbie. Hey, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Look at me. Hi, Debbie. Guys, <laughs> um, make sure you guys hit each other up. Isabel has a channel. Debbie has a channel. Moms to Create has a channel. Um, Rosie mm -hmm. has a channel. Aristi has a channel. If you have not subscribed to these wonderful crafting ladies, please do so now. And if you're just coming hey. in. Get to smack that thumbs up and dm has a giveaway now and dm has a 300 subby giveaway make sure you guys check that out as well 
You are blessed right now. You are all, you guys are having fun, huh? I want some bacalao. All right, guys. So here's my little journal. I'm going to use, he used aqua color, which I looked to see what it was. It's basically watercolor. So I'm going to use my watercolor um, paint from Arteza. And I'm going to use, this one looks kind of. Today's the last day to enter for the giveaway for the uh, for Debbie. Yeah. Okay. There you go, guys. Make sure you guys participate on that. I'm going to use this uh, yellow pail from Arteza, and basically he just used he just used watercolor on his, and that's what he used. He said it was watercolor, and I'm I don't have what he used. So it's, I don't. I have the sprays, but I don't have the paints. So that little paint tray makes me want to have deviled eggs. We're just going to use what we have. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. and then we're also going to use, cause he used a brown color. I'm not sure what color it was. Um, and so we're going to use burnt umber from Marteza. What are those? They're watercolor, okay. watercolor paints. Arteza has good quality product for the prices. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They don't have crazy prices, and the products are, but they, are not, they are not professional, but they are good quality. They are both craft level. Right. They are awesome products. I love it. I love, I, I love Stamperia. All right, so he started out with like a yellow. You guys can, um, I'll probably um, try to link that one video. It was from Creativation. Hi, Gloria. Um, but basically, he said anything works. So, okay. Hey, Miss Gloria. Hey, Hello, Gloria. Oh, my God. I'm going to have, I can't believe she remembered her name. Hi, Denise. Hey, Denise. Hello, Denise. How are you? I cannot believe you actually remembered her name. No, I got my cheat sheet up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honest. I'm not going to lie. I got a cheat sheet. Because I remember the channel names. And sometimes, unless I interact with them on the regular, regular, I, I won't get their names. I'll forget. Or I'll confuse them, which is horrible. All right. We got 15 in the house. I want to see 15. 15 thumbs up, please. Come on, Come on. Share to sharing. Make sure for some reason I don't. What? She's probably on the YouTube side. What? Who? You. No, don't see. I see the one that I press and no one else. Why? I because we're on new streams. May probably can see the camera. No, I'm watching. I'm watching from YouTube so I can see the chat. Yeah, but you, you're still connected to Ustream. It won't let me see it either. It only shows one. It'll only show my, it'll only show you yours and it'll show me. No, yours. they don't show any. No, because I, I deactivated the thumbs. Oh, okay. I deactivated it. So oh. the happy go get them kind of people that loves to, you know, have fun. Don't stress about it. They still count in analytics. Oh, I don't care. I don't. They can do whatever the heck they want, but I don't give them the the pleasure of seeing the count. I mean, if you're watching something on on TV and you don't like it, just change the channel. I don't get why here they do it like somebody forces them to watch. I don't get. It. I don't know because people just don't have anything better. Yeah, so do. don't waste your energy in those. All right. So we use baby wipes to kind of move and shift everything around and it's just for watercolor carrie she deactivated the thumbs up just put a little picture of a thumbs up <laughs> it's not deactivated they, they you just hide them i hide it you press, you hide them? Oh, okay. if you they look press, but they don't they don't see the other how many others okay, have them. okay carrie if, if you're on your phone it should be on the bottom left and if you're on your computer it should be on the bottom right of the screen you'll see like dislike share save blah blah blah
What is that blue bottle? Water. Oh, just water. Nothing fancy, just H2O and a fancy little cute bottle. <laughs> Lori is asking what you're making. You're making like a little phone, a little notebook? Maybe? Yeah, a little journal cover. Rose loves the yellow. She says it's so happy. It is. It's going to be covered, though. <laughs> I'm following Antonio. Antonio told me to do it, but I didn't have Antonio's stuff, so I'm just using what I have. <laughs> Who's Antonio? Antonio from Stamperia. Uh. And we don't want to waste too much products, you know, because the products are expensive. Waste not, want not, right? I just kind of mix it in a little. Okay, Deanne got her flower, ordered her flowers from Marchana. Did you? I, I, I didn't see any that I like. My um, daughter, Janice says that's super cute. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. I, I, I got a caller. Yeah. See what my um, Mother's Day. I like the fact that this stone paper, so you see how it has a little bit of a resistance on there, but it soaks in. It looks like it's a resistant, but when you use a baby wipe, you would think it would tear it up, but no, this is washable, bendable. Whatever bowl you want to do, you can do bags with this. You can do all kinds of neat things. So I'm going to I'm gonna stock up on this. Wait, so it's like a material, not a paper? It is a paper. It's kind of a special kind of paper. Um, it is a paper. I'm just using a bank flight. It is such a pretty color. We need to see pretty with all the ugly that's out there in the last couple of weeks. No. All right. Dry it before I go on to my next layer. Oh, wow, they just deployed the National Guard to some states. Wow. Wow. Who said that? Um, um, I, what was the name? Let me see my cheat sheet. Crafting on, um, not crafting on, uh, crafting with the heart. That is Gloria. Gloria. And they, and Josie just came in. Hello, Josie. Buonasera, Josie. Come esta? Bye, Janet. Bye, Lisa. Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome, guys. Thank you for joining me on a Sunday. We're hoping to do more crafting with all this coronavirus for all my homesteaders that can't go out. We're going to try Marina. Marina. Marina's creation is in. Hello, Hi, Marina. Jen. Hello, thank you. Thank you for joining. Josie, how are you? Josie is from Italy. How are you? How is things there? Yes, are how are things in Italy? Are you guys staying safe? Isabel and, and, and Janet are, are leaving for a bit. All right, ladies. Have a beautiful Sunday. Marie, uh, Josie, are you staying safe? I saw the news about how you guys are um, keeping hopeful by singing out in your balconies and um windows yeah i saw that it's yeah. it beautiful i think that's so beautiful yes very safe good 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 that's good to hear that our fellow crafty ladies and friends from throughout the world are trying to stay positive and safe
Josie says she's making fabric masks right now. Oh, cool. That sounds awesome. Fabric masks. Okay. So now I'm going to use the burnt umber. Ooh. And I don't have the, the colors here, so I'm improvising. And I'm just using, this is a burnt umber watercolor from Arteza. Oh, we could call this the Corona Cat Crafting Session, since everybody's home crafting. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Hi, Joyce. Good morning. Good morning. Ms. Hello, Joyce. It's good afternoon. It's after 12 where I am. Yeah, Joyce, what are you doing up so early? I thought it's you were dirty. Well, I thought she was a night owl. All right, Joyce and Aristi behave. It's not dirty for Joyce now. It must be, I don't know. Here it's six in the afternoon, so it's around 11 for her, 11 a.m. So, Aristi, are you going to use the Tim Holtz washi tape? Or are you going to hoard those? <laughs> I even check how many meters are. I will use a meter, not more. A meter? <laughs> A, a yard, a yard, let me tell you. I know, yard. I know what a meter is. That's all you're going to use? Yeah, I'm holding. <laughs> that. Okay. Even though I have to admit that I expected his washi tape to be better quality. Oh, you've never had amazing design. Washing. He has amazing designs of washi tape. His, his washi has amazing designs, but the quality is a bit, uh, I don't know. I mean, I get from the, you know, from the China side, better quality washing. Oh, you're making the mask for um, the, the hat mask. Oh, those are cool. I saw, you know who else I saw do that? Um, her name, um, her name is Carmen's Treasures. Um, I saw she had that. Those masks doesn't protect you. No, they're making it. They don't protect you. And people feel that they protect. don't protect those masks. The regular mask that you get from the pharmacy and they have it in the surgery thing in stores and from one side it's white and from the other side is green. They have a filter of anthrac. Uh, how do you say anthrac in English? Uh, carbon, carbon, I think it's in the English word. Uh-huh. So a fabric uh, mask from your house that you make, it doesn't protect you. It's just to make you feel safe, but you are not actually safe. Plus the mask, you have to throw it away. She says, yes, I know, but better than nothing. Yep, it's better, it's better safe than sorry. And you, and you know what? It's for comfort too. So you, it, it reduces, uh, puts you at ease, even if... Yeah. Yeah, I mind, you know it's not going to work probably, but it gives you peace. I think as long as you're taking precaution, that's the important part. Even they have no masks over there, so it's something to do. Yeah, and you know it's a precaution. Yeah. It's true. No, the mask won't protect you. It's for those that 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 have it, so they don't spread it. But a lot of people don't know they that they have it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because the first two weeks you don't have any symptoms. Yeah. No, it's 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 a good protective measure, though. Yeah, it is. It is. Even if you even if you if you even if you don't have it, I think it's still good protective measures. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you walked into a um, emergency room, I'm sure they're going to be wearing that because it's protocol. Gloria says she has those paints but finds them too watery. Uh, do you have the two ones? I have the tubes. 
I have, well, I have several. I have the tube and I have the, um, what do you call it? The I have the tubes and then I have the pastel pasty kind of chalky kind. Um, the chalky one, I do, the one that comes in the other palette, I do find them a little bit more waterier, but these are not that watery. I can't believe it. My laptop is. <laughs> um, uh, the plants is good if you got it through your own. Okay. Not touch face. You know, I find that really hard to do because I'm always touching my face. We do it unconsciously. We don't notice that uh, how many times uh, we touch our face per minute. Yeah, I, I touch my face too much. That would be really hard for me to ever follow. <laughs> May, who's, who is the singer, the woman that sings the, the song that says, Yo quiero respirar? Yo quiero respirar? I have no idea. Yo quiero respirar. It's a fun. I don't know. Oh, I thought you would know. I, I I'm horrible with remembering um uh, remembering things, especially lyrics and artists. Mm -mm. You'll never get that out of me because I, I I can't retain that information. I like this. I remember this, the lyrics. I remember the melody, but I hardly ever know the name of the singer. I like how that's looking. It looks like leather. That's Sabrina. That, that's Joy the, says it's Sabrina. Oh, I don't know who it is. That's the purpose. That's the full intention is to make it look like leather. love painting i love painting furniture i don't like painting objects i like painting furniture um let me use this tim holtz because i don't have what he has so remember that i don't have what he has so we're going to use um this spray and this is just tim holtz uh rusty hinge Ooh, I like that. Last of color. Mm -hmm. Do you have walnut stain? Do I have one a stain in a spray? No. No, in a, in a ink. In ink pad. Oh, yeah, I have that. You can use stuff from the ink pack, and the good thing about it is that when, if you, if you're if you see it, if you put, uh, you know, on top of it, uh, like something like Mod Podge or Matte Medium or something to cover your journal, it will make it uh, move uh, the ink is uh, water soluble. It will make it move more and move and look more like clear, real leather. Joyce, who, who was shot and killed when she was just getting famous? Who are you talking about? Uh, the singer Sabrina. No, oh, not Sabrina, Selena. Selena. I'm Selena. I, I don't. What song was it you were singing? Like when those? Yo quiero respirar. Ta -ra 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 -ra. I don't know. I, I again, I don't recall the that. I don't recall that lyric. Uh, maybe oh, those, could, those could be the lyrics, but the to the tune. Yeah, the tune. Yeah, is the the lyrics. Lyrics. Na, 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 na. 
I don't recall that there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't recall the, the tune that she Yeah, said. I don't either. Joyce says, yes, Delina. Okay. So, yeah, look, even if we're using our own products that we oh, already yeah. have in the stash, it looks kind of leathery already. Yeah. And I just blotted it with a baby wipe. Those are like gold now, too. My daughter-in-law had to go into New York to try and find one little pack of, of baby wipes and pampers. I bought these before I went out. I would not dare to take it from babies. I bought these just for the record. I bought <laughs> You didn't take them from babies. I did not take it from babies. No. I would never dare to do that. I did not take it from babies. Let me tell you, she, my, my daughter oh my was so angry ranted on Facebook. Not animals or babies were abused for the use of this video. Yeah, no, no, no. no babies. I did not take from babies. <laughs> it was fun. I didn't take it from babies. <laughs> Disclaimer. And this is the rusty hand from Tim Holtz. That's pretty cool. I like it. Guys, if you're coming in, don't forget to smack that thumbs down and our thumbs down, thumbs up, not thumbs up. <laughs> and there's several ladies on here that has YouTube channels. Hover over their names and hit each other up. Make sure you do it right by leaving a comment on the video and um, smacking the thumbs up on your way out when you're subscribing to these ladies' channels. I know Denise has a channel. I know Debbie, um, which is Deanne, has a channel. Oristi has a channel. Marina just came in, I think. I don't, I don't recall seeing her before. Who? Marina. Marina, yeah. If you have a... Um, um, Gloria has a channel. You have a YouTube channel and you're wanting someone to support you and have your back on your channel, please indicate there and guys go over there, check them out and support each other the best that you guys can. We're here to help each other the best we can. Show some love, show some love. Witchy, witchy's in the house. Laura, hello, Miss Laura. Laura has a channel too, guys. Make sure you. Hi, get Laura. How are you? I love calling her witchy because of her eyes. She's got that. Witchy she's eye. got beautiful. She's beautiful eyes. Yeah. She's got beautiful eyes. Beautiful eyes, guys. Look at that. Doesn't it look like the leather? Yeah, it looks great. Rose has a channel. Make sure Rose King. Crafting, Crafting with the Heart has a channel. The Creatively Inspired by Denise has a channel. One Legged -like Witchy Woman has a channel. Aristi, she needs to comment on the link below so you guys can hit her up. Grab each other up, and as um, our friend Laura, one-legged witchy woman, would say, go and pee in, each, pee in each other's porches. Marina says, I've used that stone paper, May, and it's amazing to work with. Awesome. This is my first time making something with it, and so I'm excited. Look at that. That really looks awesome, doesn't it? Yes. And just by dabbing it with your um, baby wipe, you get really nice effects on there. So, so far you, you've used three, three uh, inks on it, right? So far I've used two watercolors, which was the pale, 
the yellow pail from Arteza. And burnt umber from Arteza. They're the watercolors. And then I used the Tim Holtz Distress Spray Stain Rusty Hinge. Laura is so funny. She goes, stone paper? What is that, sorcery? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we kind of went outside and we grinded up some stone and then we made it into a nice fine powder and we blended it up with water and voila, we made some, uh, not water, yeah, water pulp and made the pulp of a uh, stone. And there we go, we made stone paper. Bruja's in the house. <laughs> Bruja's in the house. We're, we're, oh. we're turning paper into stone. <laughs> the leather, whatever. Yeah, it, worst comes to worst, I guess you could use your stone paper. Yeah. I would hate, I mean, it's washable. You could probably wash it. <laughs> <laughs> it's washable. What is stone paper? Um, I don't know what it's made out of, but it's almost it's almost like flexible, like fabric, like plastic. Um, not really plastic. No, it's got a um, it's got like I don't know, I don't know what kind of texture it is. It's got it's like a it's like almost like a thicker sandpapery type feel? No, no it's got a you know for those that sew um those that sew it has that um you know what is that darn thing that you use for the um quilts mm. i don't know I can't remember right now. Stone paper is like chipboard, but super soft. Yeah. Okay, Marina <laughs> says stone paper is like chipboard, but super soft to work with. Yeah, that's what I was just reading, but I don't know if I would say it's chipboard because Aristi haven't seen a video from you in ages. Did you change your channel name, Aristi? You know? No, no, no. I'm just, I just haven't been active. She's been MIA missing in action. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, I would know. I, it, to me, it doesn't feel like chipboard because chipboard is a lot thicker and not as pliable. Um, whereas this is a lot more pliable. To me, it has a feeling of that, not the batting. What is it that you use when you sew and you put it on your quilt? What is that called? Not batting. No, not batting. The quilt? It's it's inside. You put it in. It's the um, uh, not transfer. Uh, the um, not, when you're sewing, what's that like vellum? No, when you're sewing, you put something on. What is it called? Traceable paper, not no, binding. No. Wait, I'm thinking. Not batting like a fuser a, a fusing, fusing paper there you go like a fuser I, I couldn't get it out all the way <laughs> yes that's it so it has that feel to it interface there you go yeah, interfacing yes I'm glad somebody could think of it because i couldn't think of it i'm trying to go in on the edges because i got a little bit of extra here here where I start. okay. Uh, Tori is saying something like uh, wonder under interfacing. Yeah, wonder under. Yeah, whatever that is. I don't know what that is. I'm not a sewer, so I don't know. I sew paper and I get chewed out every time I got to take the machine in for repair. Interfacing. Yes, there you go. I'm glad all you guys know what it is, and I don't even know. Ladies, y'all go show Marina's channel some love. She's got great content, super nice. There you go, Marina, usable. Um, I know, I know it, I know it, I know it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's usable stuff. Um, yeah, check out Marina. She's got a channel, guys. Marina, check out Dn. Um, guys, hit each other up. Check out Dn Design. She's got a giveaway for her 300 subbies. Creatively inspired by Denise has a channel. One-legged witchy woman has a channel. 
Um, who else? Rose King has a channel. Guys, all of you guys that has a channel, hit each other up if you have not done so already. All right, so we got it dry. Next thing he did is um, he applied chapstick. Oh, no, we, we took the stencil. Get the stencil. I'm, I'm, I'm doing. He's a good looking dude. Good God. Look at that dude. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. He's a cutie. He's a cutie? Holy moly. You couldn't tell that with the hat he was wearing, but he has some nice tattoos. And my gosh. That makes you want to buy one. <laughs> he's got nice, it looks like he has nice teeth. Oh my god, it makes you want to buy He's a Greek guy. It says Antonis blah 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 yes. is Greek. He's, he's, artist. A, he's a Greek guy. Specialized. So you like Greek guys, Lurdy, come here. We have more of them. <laughs> no, thank you. You can keep them. How do you pronounce his name? Uh, bring it closer to the camera so I can read it because I can remember it. But he's a uh, he's a Greek guy. His name is Antonis in Greek. Antonis, here's his name. Uh, Adonis Zanidakis. Uh, Antonis Zanidakis. Antonis Zanidakis. Antonis Zanidakis. Antonis Zanidakis. Antonis Zanidakis. He's handsome. It's Antony. Um, he's from Greek. Greece. He's Greece. He's Greek. He's from Greece, but he's Greek. And, and we have plenty of those here. <laughs> oh my God. You guys got to go see his video. He's got some nice tattoos. He's got some nice. Mm. Lauren says he has a fabulous channel, y'all. Great mixed media artists. Uh, he is. I just saw his video on his technique. It's awesome. I love this here. I love, I would love to do something like that. But um, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just mesmerized by the looks. <laughs> sorry, Eric. We're just cheating a little bit because I'm Greek guys, Italian guys look like that. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna put it right in front of me so I can stare at Antonio. He can inspire you. He's inspired me to create this beautiful piece here. <laughs> Antonis um, <laughs> Zanidakis. Adonis. 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 It's, uh, yeah, Antonis. it's Anthony. Anthony. Uh, erotetic and uh, in an assailant, so Adonis Zanidakis. <laughs> An erotetic name. Antonis, Antonis Zanidakis. You are <laughs> Andonis Zanidakis. Oh my God. <laughs> I like the sense too. I don't know. He's got, he's got, guys. That, that, that's inspiring right there. That's inspiring. Capture the moment. Oh, hey, look. Okay, Sunday morning craziness. Yes, it is. Look at Laura says, I don't know what he, what the hell he's saying, but I like hearing and watching him talk. <laughs> Well, oh, you speak English, so you don't have a, you won't have a problem. Well, I don't know. I can just sit there and just look at him, not, not bother about what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. I just yeah. want to hear. Just talk, baby. I don't care what you say. Just no, this is and if, and if, and if oh. it's summer and he has a light wearing, you know, no blouse stuff, it will be better. Yep. Are all, are all Greek old guys, do all Greek guys look like this? No. At his at his age, yes. At his and age. Italian guys are like that, and Greek guys oh, are like yeah. that. He's Italian. And we have Peter, and he's a tall guy. He's not so. Yeah, no, he's tall, and he's got some nice tattoos. But let me tell you, yeah, um, he's actually from my island. He's from island Crete. <laughs> so come here, okay, guys. Go with you come. Listen up, ladies. L listen to what Laura says. She says, she says, "Him's pretty. I'd break him." <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, ladies. Who is all in it to go and do a um, crop in Greece just so we can get a come over to this? Wakata, look at that. Oh, my God. I told you to come for a cruise here. You know. He is handsome. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm translating to my mother. 
<laughs> your mom probably thinks I'm crazy. Tell your mom I'm not crazy. I just think he's cute. I say, let me try to like she's gonna have the future. <laughs> So, so guys, uh, you know, see, uh, why it's madness to like somebody? It's craziness to like somebody. Is it crazy? No, he's. I just. I'm well, no, I don't know. I'm speechless over Anthony's and Zanadakis. Zanadakis. What? You don't have to learn it. Just look at him, Jenny. I think I don't know. Oh, I want to say it right. So if I ever see him in my dreams, I'm calling him by the right name. I want him to respond. <laughs> Just don't keep Anton, baby. We don't use the last name here. So be relaxed. Be careful. We're going to we're gonna have to stalk this guy. We're going to have to stalk him. Look at that mm -hmm. smile. Isn't that a beautiful, gorgeous mm -hmm. smile? Oh my God, that's enough to brighten your day. My mom actually knows his son. What? What? <laughs> what? My mom knows his son. What? She he lives in your town? Oh, Risty, tell your mom she's got to get it for us. Can you hold him hostage? <laughs> my, mom, my mom say, and what if, what if she keeps her for herself? No, 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 mama, 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 listen to me. You have to share him with us. Sharing is caring. Λοιπόν, σου λέει, μαμά, 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 άκουσε τι λέει. Πρέπει να το μοιραστείς μαζί μας, γιατί όταν μοιράζεις, σε νοιάζεσαι. No, 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 you have to share him with us. Share him. <laughs> we, share we share here. We share here. <laughs> she just said she's going to keep it for herself. I bet you. No, no. Hi, <laughs> Laura. <laughs> you say that she can do that because she knows the whole family, so she feel embarrassed. Oh, how old is he? Probably too young for me. <laughs> He's around 30, I think. Oh, I'll take him. <laughs> no, he's too young for you, May. I'll take him. Back away, dude. I'm closer to his age than you are. Back I don't away. care. I'll, Back rock away. That I'll rock that boy's world. But listen to her. Listen to her. She's got cobwebs. She's got cobwebs up there, and she's saying she's gonna rock his world. That's right. I know how to clean. <laughs> okay. Let's go see your wrist. You're right, Lara. Let's go see. I will be I will be his uh, feet. And I you know something. I think there are plenty of fathers out here. So I there are many, many, many guys. I think I see, I I think I see a even better breeze. There are many, many guys looking so even better. Out this video. Out this video. Under Come and 30 and they are looking for cougars. Of embarrassment. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I, I'm ready to meet them. Antonis Zanidakis, un artista griego especializado en mix media, siempre en busca de nuevos efectos y técnicas. <laughs> Yo soy un nuevo aspecto. She's crying. She's so her daughter's on her way uh, to West Texas. They're moving into New Mexico and she, she's upset. They just left. Oh, I don't think, I, I, I'm not looking for that. Okay, trip to Greece in order. Yes, I, I, I second that. I second that. Yeah, me too. I'll swim. I, I second that. I'm hopping on the lap of the airplane pilot. And I told you something that you didn't realize. What? That if you come here, there are plenty, plenty, plenty of guys below 30 that look like him and even hotter and they love cougars they love cougars yeah so we gotta go there and what stays in greece what happens in greece stays in greece is that the mentality we eric better put some yeah. earplugs on. eric has to put earplugs on <laughs> i'm risky i hope you have a big house <laughs> i don't you don't yep. Well, I, can you I can find you a cheap house here. 
Okay, it's okay. A for a month, and it will be crazy cheap, especially if you come for people or more. It will be crazy cheap. Aristi, like, yeah. Aristi, Aristi, tell your mom in all mm -hmm. seriousness. This is very serious. This is a very serious matter. Now, listen to me very carefully. <laughs> I'm not laughing, Aristi. I'm not laughing. This is serious. Okay. <laughs> tell your mom. Yeah that she is to call this young man's mother and she is to tell him that there is an emergency in your house and you <laughs> and she is to tie him down but please take good care of him i don't want him famished no marks no marks no marks no also you are not to use him Aristi. do not use him I no, want him to like him. him. Okay. And I want him tied down until I get to Greece. Okay. <laughs> you have to keep him there. And what is that she wants? What does she want from the United States? I will take it to her. But just don't ask me for a million dollars because I don't have it. Okay. Don't ask me for a million dollars because I don't have it. Let me translate. I get a goose. My goose. Of that. She's probably thinking I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm thinking to me. She said, these Americans are not a <laughs> yeah, she she told me okay she will tie him up with silk thread so he won't oh, look at that. Yeah, treat him like a <laughs> yes. Silk, I want her to take treat him with delicacy, okay? Very fine <laughs> and delicate. <laughs> Very delicate. I don't want him use, abused, or mistreated. Yeah, she won't I use him. That. Treat him well. Well. Feed him well, fatten him up. Not too fat. I don't want him fat. I don't want him fat. <laughs> okay, we can leave him in his house until you come here. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I want him. I don't want no other girls to touch him. <laughs> no other girls can touch him. Only me. That, okay. that, that counts you. Um, um, no, trust me. I have no luck with him. I'm not the type of girls Greek guys like. I'm sure he gets all friends. kinds of girls when he goes to these places. Now I'm jealous. Oh, look at that. Now I'm jealous. I'm gonna have to stock. I'm gonna I'm gonna start. Oh, okay. May we will do a swap. I will give you the Greek guy and you will bring me from USA a black so gifting man. <laughs> like, wait, oh no, wait, you're asking me for a man. I thought you were gonna ask me for Tim Holt stuff. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. So I want somebody six feet, six two at least, uh, talented, gifted, with a working brain, and you know, <laughs> we will do a swap. You will give me chocolate, and I will give you Greek. Okay, we'll see how that works. But first, I want the man. First, Laura, I come here. You will find plenty of those. What's she saying? If you go to the beach, you know, because summer here and summer, people already started to go to the sea. So if you go to the sea, you will find plenty of plenty of those and you can fully inspect them with, you know, with bathing suits. Oh, maybe it's not ignoring you, Laura. Laura, just don't don't touch my man, okay? Don't touch my man. <laughs> I like you, Laura, but I'm not sharing them, okay? Just don't touch my man. Don't touch my man either. Just make sure your mom takes them. And when she gets them to your house, you give me a call. I'm going to get on the next plane over. Okay. She is actually uh, because he is uh, very known in what he does and cooperates with many companies, international companies. He travels a lot. That's okay. And uh, does um, how do you say? Does uh, like lesson, you know, seminars, lesson. How you do it? So let's say, for example, that you come to Greece, a group of American women. If you come to Greece, 
you can book one of the craft stores that have spaces for lessons and you can book him to come. Oh. That will cost you, the thing, those things are a bit expensive, that will cost you around 150 for a day. All right, you need to find out. We need to find out how much it costs to bring this guy. I don't know if we'll ever accomplish getting. I don't know how much it costs to come to USA because you know when you invite one of those people to teach you. I, I don't want him to come to the USA. There's too many cougars here. <laughs> I don't want him to come there. I'm going to go to him. Yeah. Uh, if you come here, then you will have. Uh, he doesn't have to travel, so it will be. Uh, around 150 let's say around 160 dollars hold on i gotta i gotta call mr larson up hold on a second i gotta tell him hold on i gotta tell him to come here i gotta tell him the news <laughs> what is she gonna tell him that she's replacing him hold on I very little man. hold on I got <laughs> <laughs> no i got nice thing Hold on, I gotta, I gotta break it to Eric. Hold on, Eric. Denise, you're lucky. You have a tall guy. Denise has a tall guy. Denise is a cougar too. Hold on, I gotta wash my towel too. Yeah, Denise is nasty. <laughs> and the funny thing is that he doesn't have a single uh, brother good as him, so he took the last model. Nothing safe for us. Lots and lots of here. Yeah, Greeks and Italian are here, here people. But you know the the young people now they're people. going. That's why it's great. Young people they shave or they wax, so they can look shiny. That's why they made razors. Aristi, that's why they made razors. We can we can shave them. Yeah, yeah, you will have fun for with it. <laughs> yeah, we'll have fun. We'll have a shave. With top and then start start shaving him. <laughs> we will have real fun. He's probably got, he's probably got a wife and 10, 20 million kids, right? Uh, I know he's single. I don't know if he has a girlfriend oh, or not. He's single. He's, he's, single? Not, he's huh? not married. He's not married, so no family from that, but he may, I'm sure he has a girlfriend or something, but you know, don't let that stop you because Greek guys are cheating. So, you know, he, he, he can help you with what you want. Oh my God, you hear her? You hear her? She can help me. <laughs> okay, you won't keep him forever and Sarah is caring, so he's caring enough to share his body with the with this population. <laughs> my camera's acting. My no, he's not gay. He's not gay. Not that we don't have gay people. We don't. We do have gay people and beautiful people. But he's not the the that man is not. Are you sure about that? Yep. Yeah. I have seen his profile in Facebook. Oh, you're blocking him too, huh? You need to stay off my man. No, no, we were to the in the Kavas Grove. That's why I know him. He was in Canvas Grove. Oh, he designed for Canvas. Yeah, a couple of years ago he was there. I don't think he is anymore because most of us are really disappointed on how the company treated the members, especially the Greek ones, because not the Greek ones, the Europeans, because it was all about, you know, sipping and taxing and delaying and all that stuff. So we were annoyed and the majority of, of us left. There was another guy also looking like him, also a crafter, and he's an amazing crafter. He makes amazing products. Uh, I don't remember his name. I have to look it up in Facebook. But he was also like him looking, and he's really, really talented, and he makes amazing projects like mini albums, but in a more mixed media way. Are you here? Me? Hey. Looks are you here? I she, yeah, I'm here. I think she went to get air. No, because my uh, my 
my screen is making pixels, so I didn't know if she she's good. Okay. Working. It it must be on your end, ladies, because it's no. It has to do. You know what? Uh, I have noticed it yesterday and a couple of times. Uh, oh, if yeah, you yeah, yeah. Up, yeah. It doesn't have to be on then. Lord, this listen to me. It's trying to focus on the lines on the grid of her glass mat and the lines on the what she just. Um, Use the stencil. It's trying to focus on on the two sets of lines. Yeah. Listen to me, Lord. This, Lord. This. Listen to me. What is happening? If you watch from Streamyard, it's okay. If you watch from YouTube, it's breaking. It's yeah, breaking. I know. What happened is, what happened is, like uh, the same thing that was happening with Hangout. If, if the transmission from uh, Streamyard to YouTube breaks the pixels. Yeah. It's that's it. What well, that's what's happening. So if you watch from YouTube, you will see that uh, on the lower part of the screen, it's breaking. It's happening in both. It was it was happening in both. In uh, the other day, it was happening only. It's you know, now and now it's catching up with the YouTube. It's because you know what? Hold on a second. It's 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 the. The lines, the line, the line, grid. The grid, yeah. See, when I bring it up, it's okay. When I do that, see? Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Look how pretty. Mm -hmm. It's stream yarn. Stream yarn needs to get their act straight about that because people, I'm paying for this set service. Yeah, that's the thing that in StreamYard you have to pay, so there should be more professionals about that. Yeah, they should it's be more like in Hangout when it was happening. Hangout was free, so you could earn uh, have high demands. But in StreamYard, you pay StreamYard. So <clears throat> I'm so slow. She, she, all this time she has make the cover and make the stencil and i'm still trying to build papers on one envelope hold on, hold on guys my husband's here i gotta i gotta tell him the news okay <laughs> very serious okay and i want you to keep an open mind okay don't get offended but i'm cheating with a great guy <laughs> i'm going to greece and I'm going to meet Antonis Zanadakis. <laughs> because he's a hottie. <laughs> yeah, Eric's going to give her permission. He's going to say, sure, go. <laughs> huh? Can meet Mark Anthony? And, and See, he never takes me serious. Cheyenne. <laughs> he's laying off all my boyfriends. <laughs> He's got your number, man. The other one you won't travel to go see is me. <laughs> hey, just, just remember the plan. What's that? Just remember, remember, remember the plan. <laughs> plan. <laughs> we have a plan, guys. We have a plan. He gets the money, I get the person. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. Yeah, people, the money is so crazy. <laughs> crazy, right, guys? Totally. All right. So the next step that he did, Anthony, Anthony's. Adonis Janidakis. And Donis and Donis Zanidakis was he took chapstick. Let me put some on my lips before I put it on the canvas. <laughs> Eric's gonna be missing his chapstick. <laughs> so he took some chapstick, and you can do this with Vaseline. I've actually done a couple canvases before with Vaseline, but I really don't have any Vaseline. 
And so we're going to use chapstick because that's what Andoni Zanidakis does. <laughs> and so we're going to, um, he goes, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is just a resistant and you could probably use that Tim Holtz resistance, right? And you'll probably, I want to try it to see what that does, but you can just, you know, this is just going to resist in some, certain areas so that when you do apply your, um, your, your paint is not going to stick to those areas that um, you know certain areas it's not going to stick to. How do you say we keep Canton trust? <laughs> I want to see that, Joyce. I want to see your husband get it up and try to chase a young guy. I want to see that. Oh, Joyce, Joyce, you need to back off. You're a cougar. Back off, my man. Joyce, back off. Joyce, you have your plumber. You have your plumber. Stick with him. You can't yeah. have him. Yeah, my hubby would say I would kick in Tony's ass. <laughs> Eric, Eric, Eric knows I'm kidding. All right, next layer is we're going to paint. And he used a really cute olive color. Well, Antonis, I don't have, oh, oh my God, that that little camera flickered. I'm going to have to have a call with a uh, uh, stream yard. We don't Send have that to Eric and he will never let you come to Greece. What's that? Tell these things to Eric and he will never let you come to Greece. No, I'll never go to Greece. The only time I'll go to Greece is to go meet Antonis. Oh, thank you, friend. What's that? Thank you, friend. You won't come to see me, just Anthony. I'm sorry. Thank, I'm thank sorry. you, friend. Thank you, friend. I'm sorry, um, Aristi. I'm only telling you the truth. Thank you, friend. Okay, he is an olive color. I don't have olives, so we're just going to... Mix some color. You're very welcome. You're you're very welcome. <sighs> yes, you have her plumber, Dr. Hobby. Yeah, she, she can't she can't have the plumber. She can have the plumber all she wants. She can't have Antonis. Let me see if I have uh, another more olive color paint. Let's see, we gotta look for our paints now. Oh, I do, I do. Let's make some colors up. Make some, we're gonna play some. And I'm just mixing. This is a chalk paint, Waverly's chalk paint. And I use this one, which is, oh, what color is that? I don't know, the minty color. I have no idea. It's in, it's in Walmart. And the um, Villa, Villa Colonine Green, I think it's called. Don't quote me on that because I have no idea how to pronounce that. Nice color, that. That's a really it's nice color. Good times. Nice. Right, turn that one a little bit. Mm. 
my dear. Everyone gets so quiet after a while. I hope you guys have smacked that thumb. Smack the thumb, guys. Joyce deleted the, the messages for the plumber, so happy won't see them. <laughs> yeah, I bet she does. Oh gosh, he deleted the he deleted them from the chat. She did? Yeah, just see the chat. He deleted those. <laughs> Joyce, I'm pretty sure he's not gonna say anything. It's just a, it's just, you know. Eric, Eric knows better than that. I hope you guys don't really think that I would do something like that. That's just all in fun. You know, married people have souls also. So I think you're right, you're not uh, yeah, so you're married doesn't mean you don't admire have the beauty. Yeah, just because you're married doesn't mean you don't have eyes. Yep. And don't be so hard to say scared not scared guys do it also do you think when they see something beautiful they don't uh, say right wow, and have dirty thoughts and all that stuff right. and it's so cool they stay only to thoughts some of them just don't just stay to thoughts some yeah of them go to action i'm pretty sure that they they look when you're not looking they're looking had to mute your i had he he's down here how to mute you snitches. That innocent old lady. Yeah. <laughs> what right. are the words? We're going to fuse this mixture here and we're going to. Who is over there? Um, I'm here. She sounds like she was. What are you doing? That you're just like breathing in, like. <gasps> I'm, breathing in. I'm hungry and I don't know what to eat. That sounds like a personal problem. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, we're going to have to go in with this other color. Mixture is kind of Huh? Lourdes? Lourdes, earth to Lourdes. Come in, Lourdes. She's probably in the kitchen. She told you she's hungry. She doesn't know what to eat. No, I'm sorry. I walked into the kitchen and I shut the, uh, the thing off so you wouldn't hear my noise. Um, yeah, Miguel's home. He's in his room. He's going to go to to the neighbor's house where his friend is. They're going to watch oh, him. You know what I'm having? I made lasagna last night, but you know what sounds good? Oh, I'm going to have some pastelon leftover from the other night. Mm. Miguel, Miguel hurt you. Did you hear him? What are you saying? Yeah. He yelled, lasagna's good. Lasagna's good. Come on that's, over. We have plenty. That, that's his favorite. You hear that? Oh, you boy, you insulted me. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> he's, he's yelling at from There you are. You Mom's insane. lasagna is better, I'm just saying. Uh, no, no, you have I, a taste in mine. That's why. 
You ask my husband, he's going to tell you, um, I beg to, I beg to argue. And he, he has to say that he lives with you. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. mom, his mom beats him. So he has she to, got she, she got to, she got to mess with. She got yeah. to, you got and, out of bed and cook and, your, and your mom is standing right next to you as you yeah. say that. And you know, boys are good. As you say that, I have to invent the, uh, a veggie version of the lasagna for him because now he's veggie. Oh, now he's. They he's have a, many ve veggie versions of it with mushrooms. You chop the mushrooms, tiny, 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 tiny bits. Now we're going to use baby them on the pan and uh, stir them. And that makes the mushroom meat uh, like a rinse meat. They have All right. a, 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 yes. All right, guys, we're gonna use a baby wipe. We're gonna wipe off because that's what Antony. Uh, whatever you guys know what I meant. And he put some muscles in it with his big biceps. You know, biceps. <laughs> he used that tricep, man. He's like, mm. wow. Oh my god. Can you imagine that? A guy with uh, you know a, a tiny, very tight t-shirt doing crafting videos, all the ladies will follow him like maniacs. You know, a hot guy doing like that. It will be the new trend after the steps. You know. Jean says that's looking so good, May. Uh, thank you. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. I would have to close my eyes and look the other way. I would have to literally close my eyes and look the other way. Like like in the horror movies. I would close not, your eyes, but you will pick up. <laughs> I would not have been able to sit there and watch him teach this without like, you know, like going, uh, uh, can you do that again? Can I um teacher? I need help. You'll be sitting there <laughs> drooling. I'd be like, yeah, I'd be drooling. I'd be like, teacher. Um, I'm not understanding. Can you show? Can you personally show me what exactly you just did? Because like we do with the gym guys in the gym, the ladies do that. Oh, can you show me again how to do that? How, how, how did you lift up that that that? Um, and then the guy comes from you from the back and all touches you and so you the exercise. <laughs> Can you show me that again? I mean, I think I need to see a close up of it. You know, I have issues. I'm slow in learning. A little bit. I'm a little bit on the slow side of life. <laughs> but if you care to show this old lady, you know that I could be your mom. No, you are not too old enough to be his mom. A guy like him will have a mom around twenty five at least. Well, uh, it, just came over, it just came over the line here. Pennsylvania state wine liquor stores are going to be closed amid the virus outbreak. Everybody's going to freak out over here in town. Eric better go get my eyes because if my eyes get shut down, there's going to be an epidemic in this house. Ugh. He's not gonna like me if I don't have my eyes. That's like a sport around here, drinking wine and drinking, period. Really? Yeah, right. It's right up there with fishing and hunting and football. I like the fact that this paper. The stone paper takes the abuse that we put it through. I save my, I save my little. I, I do need to get this fixed. I'm gonna have to call Streamyard because that's ridiculous. I wonder if I put a piece of paper underneath. I was just thinking the same thing. If you put something on it. Eric would cover your eyes. He would cover my eyes, yeah. As long as he gets a cut of it, that's all that matters to him. <laughs> um, now we're going to um, 
put like an umber color and I don't have that. So we're going to use, we're going to use this mahogany from Seth Ector. Paper artsy. That looks great. I like it. I like, I like, I like what he was doing. I think it's yeah, it needs a little bit of red tones, just a bit of red tones, like uh, the tiles on the roof red. A little bit of mahogany that has a little bit of red in it yeah that's mahogany mahogany has red tones mm -hmm. and i'm going to put a little bit of this um terracotta too. again this is from seth after um you don't have to use these but. I'm going to finger paint, paint like we were in school. You know what it's beginning to look like to me? Uh, a, a chalkboard. Is it? The green chalkboard and the teacher's white chalk over it. Uh huh. That's what it's reminding me of. Get her. Get Taco Bell, is that what you said? Did you say you want Taco Bell? Me. Who? Aristi. Sounds like she said, Yo quiero Taco Bell. No, we don't have Taco Bell, first of all. And I say, uh, I have stuck the lyrics on my head. Yo quiero respirar. Well, we have to find that song. I don't know what song you're talking about. Let me get the phone so I can find an episode. I bet you know it. It's a very famous song. Oh my god. Oh. I'm going just in random little spots. Random spots. Major rock star. Okay, who's talking Spanish so you can write me the spelling? Yo quiero respirar. I don't know the spelling of it. Yo quiero respirar. Yeah, I never had taco. They have taco stores in Athens, but they don't have a Mexican store here. Yo quiero respirar means I want to breathe. I know what it means. I don't know the spelling. Um, oh, that'll have to be Lunes because my keyboard is covered right now. What do you want to write? Yo write in the chat, yo quiero respirar. You want to breathe? Write the chat, the phrase, yo quiero respirar. No, I'm saying you want me to write, I want to breathe. Yeah, that phrase, write it in the chat. I know, I want the spelling. There you go. Okay, it's with Q. I was writing with C. You know, you know. What is there? It's right in here. Um, Danny. The name is Danny. Danya? I don't know who that's here. That's late yeah. because I have slow internet. What? What? Where do you get that name? Wait, wait. Respirar. <laughs> yeah, that's the song. Here it is. It's here. Never heard of it. Huh? Never heard of it. That doesn't sound for me. Danny. D H A N Y. Danny. Never heard of it. No, I've never heard of it. Okay, now it's sounding familiar. 
I'm I'm stopping it for you know for yeah, the nation. Yeah, not for you, um, you too. Yeah, but you 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 heard the part. Yeah. And it's a it's a very joyful song. The music is very joyful. I mean. You say no. that Jones that I never had taco. Jones said <laughs> Rose is saying that uh, now the hubby of Joyce left the room, Joyce is safe to play again. Let's talk about her plumber again. <laughs> she won't know. She never told us what B stood for. I think she was just putting letters because she was asleep that night, falling asleep. I think she was delusional. Joyce has two loves. One is the plumber, and the second is Andrea Bocelli and his bass player. All right, and let's play. I'm, I'm doing one side each so that I, I can get a little bit of, and I'm going to go in and now remove. You want to get in as it's wet a little and pick up with the baby wipe. Remove some of that undertones that are underneath. Go ahead. Sorry. I mean, sorry. A little bit of. Ooh, I love this. Love it. I want to get. I'm going to definitely be here. You can do the same effect with Vaseline. It was. Uh, it was how you say that. Uh, oh. Yeah, you can do the effect with uh, Vaseline. You do it a lot for uh, so that you don't have. It's a resistant Vaseline. How do they say that uh, guy that works uh, a lot with uh, American paints, Americana paints? Uh, oh, Andy Skinner. Yeah, Andy Skinner had that technique. Yeah, with um, years ago with uh, Vaseline. Mm -hmm. I did it. I did it in, with one of my f pictures because it gives it like a shippy kind of color, so it resists and it doesn't stick on to the. Look at that! Isn't that awesome? Yeah, the Vaseline gives the chip effect that the paint is chipped and uh, yeah, it gives it a shippy effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to go in this mahogany is perfect. Like mm -hmm. I told you, maybe some red tones. Yeah, I didn't even have to buy the Stamperia paints, which right now the Rusty Crown has it for three something. But I mean, hey, use what you got, right? Use what your mama gave you. Josie is saying that her son made the Nutella crepes. She he made what? Nutella crepes. Crepes, oh. crepes, in Greek, crepes. I have somewhere some music notes. I have to say, Antonio is that good of an artist to teach this, and I didn't even get to meet him in person. I hate to see how much I learn with him in person. <laughs> I'm serious because this is just by um the creativation demo he did and I, I I think it's turning out great. I like the the so if he was to teach me in person, I think I learned a whole lot more from him. Hmm. <laughs> interesting. interesting it's an interesting theory that I'm um willing to test out. Yeah, you have to experiment to see. I have to test the product out, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to travel to uh, Greece to test the product, drive that car before it can drive it out of the lot. All right. Quite, quite. You know, if you don't learn, it's his fault. So you have he has to teach you again. Has to teach me again, right? That's the whole thing. Is he has to teach me again. Shoot. I'm down for that. It's all the teachers for I have to blame the teacher.
Oh my God, I love this. I'm going to order this stuff at the store. Oh my God, this is awesome. This is the kind of grungy stuff I like. Mm. Oh my God, look. And you can keep going. It looks rusty, doesn't it? I love it. I love it. Yep. I'm, I love the way it looks right there as it is. So I am going to now wash my paintbrushes. I'm going to put the camera over to Aristi. Aristi is going to show you what she's doing on this fine Sunday morning. And you guys are Sunday afternoon. It's night. Here it's night. It's night. You can turn your lights. But she's going to show you what she's doing there at night in green. Yeah. All this time that May did that, and all this time that May did that, I only managed and the screens on her. So the, all this time that May did that, I only managed to her glue half of the envelope. <laughs> wait, wait. The screen on you. The camera is on you. Yeah, hold on. I gotta put you on you. Uh, I still and uh, for the uh, for the past. Uh, 15 minutes I'm trying to find what to put here to cover the gap here and I wanted some black and white music notes and I have only in cream but never mind so that's the front so far and that's the back I'm slow when I say I'm slow I'm slow some people say I'm slow crafter but <laughs> I'm really slow Josie is going to eat the creep, Nutella crepes now and she's stepping away to eat and she doesn't share with us. Hi, John. My dear friend, you are like enough to meet him. and took two classes. Oh, the, the Anthony guy, you met him. Don't tell that to me, but she missed that. I heard something about me. Yeah, but Jane's girlfriend, uh, Jane's girlfriend met, uh, met Tony in USA. Hold on a second, I can't hear. I just heard my name, something about something and Tony's. I yeah, heard somebody, 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 somebody on the chat met him in USA. <laughs> and he had the same uh, problem with you, attention defect, the ACT disorder. Chat. Jane Rowe wrote, wrote that uh, her girlfriend were lucky enough to meet him at Creative, Creative Nation and took two classes from him at a local scrapbook store in Lake Worth, Florida. He's just as hot in person. Oh my God. I think they had the same problem. Attention. Deficit disorder. disorder. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Uh, thank you, Laura. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I would have probably not been. I would have been like, um, um, um. um. <laughs> what did you say, teacher? I would probably not be able to focus. I would have lost focus. Like, um, um, um. Can you repeat that again? I think I need a little bit of help here. 
Okay. So here is our little journal doodad. And um, we're going to go this way. So there it is. And it looks amazingly stunning. Oh, wait, I'm going to put it on my no, screen. I have to turn on you. And look, with, even with the little stitching on there, it looks even cooler. It looks like leather. It looks really, really awesome. Now I'm going to seal it. Y'all know I get paranoid about messes, so let's clean up some of this mess, because otherwise this mess will drive me up the wall. This is why I don't do too much media because I don't like the mess. So I guess if Anton is no, yeah. let's lay our body on the paint and you know cover our body with paint. And you say, oh no, 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 I have OCD. I can't. <laughs> no, I will make I will make an exception for him. <laughs> There's exceptions. Exceptions do apply, okay? Um, <laughs> so we'll just have to, you know, let me dry. Let me dry this up. Speaking. All right, we're going to do some gel medium just to seal it. And then I'm, one more thing I'm going to do, and this is just a cheap matte gel. And we really don't want, um, like, um, normally I would use, you can, you, you don't want to use your Mod Podge, your glossy one, because it gets sticky. You can use, like, the matte Mod Podge. Um, hmm, let's see, what, we're going to use this one instead of the matte gel. <laughs> My mom cook we 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 boil chicken and we put a a thing inside that we make here in Greece. It's a wheat, seeds of wheat, you dry them, you smash them, and then you cook them with uh, milk and then you dry them again. So when you you're boiling uh, chicken for example, you to put in the broth those dry with milk uh, seeds of wheat. So she told me to put your plate and offer your plate so you can eat. Oh, she's, got she told me, she's making yes, me she's a plate. Offering you food. She's making me a plate. Okay, tell, tell my mom I'm on, I'm on my way. Uh, she said I'm on my way. Yeah, I told her. Hi, Laura. She say, "Come now, that that it's still hot." Okay, I'll, 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 I'll be there in five seconds. Five seconds. Give me five seconds. Se pede de estar ahorita haciendo. Hi, Laura. Laura is saying hi to herself. <laughs> Laura is saying hi to Laura. All right, we're just gonna use this Mod Podge stuff, but it's the matte. You don't want the glossy one, guys be sticky but this will seal it i use a wood glue you use wood glue yeah wood glue. yeah crystallic it's white wood glue and it dries crystal clear so it's not yellow and when it dries it's transparent completely i use a white brush and i i do the strokes like a cross one up, one side, one up, one side. So it gives a, 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 an effect texture. in fabric fibers. Yeah, textures. Yeah. Nikki, you know, Nikki Parr has uh, received one happy meal from me and it had uh, a thing with that technique. And she was really amazed how the texture is. She couldn't believe it's a good glue. I assume that wood glue would give it a lot more texture because it's kind of 
it's a different kind of glue, a little bit thicker. Actually, it's like P it's PVA glue. It's like uh, tacky glue or like uh, the matte medium you have. The people that touch it and have used those products told me the effect is like matte medium. The satin thing, not the glossy thing. Satin matte medium. Okay, I glue all the piece of paper out. Oh, Jesus, and it's it only took me two hours. <laughs> That's how long we've been here. Oh my god, we've been here for two hours. It, it only took me two hours to cover a tiny envelope with paper. Jeez. Now the fun part will start. One more coat and we got this one almost down pat. So I'm really not going to do any decorative too much on the outside because we really don't have to. The two Lauras are coming to Greece. The two Lauras are going to Greece. You better stay out of a, to stay away from Antonis Zandakis. Oh, I'll, trust me, that last name, I'll never forget that last, Zandakis. You don't have to. Just call him all babe. <laughs> Come here, man. I got to keep an eye on Laura Free, though. She might try to jump in there and take my man away. Yeah, and she will break him. She'll break him. She's already said she's going to break him. I'm afraid the big guy will break her. <laughs> I wonder if he's married now. Now I'm curious. I told you he is not. Is he gay? No, he had a girlfriend. He had a pretty girlfriend. A pretty girlfriend. See, we're out of it. Do you want him as your boyfriend or for, you know, some, fu some fun? I don't think you want to marry him or something. No. You no. want to play with him, to be responsibilities in your toy you just want him for your toy so you know we are we are very welcome people here and friendly and all that stuff but you won't be now your favor to be your toy for a while i see you guys are very welcoming yep. very host hospitality huge hospitality here so he won't deny you it's against the protocol to have a tourist asking you something and say no, you know. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Yeah, my mom and aunt had both a cruise months ago, but now I'm not sure. They're supposed to go to the end of June. We shall see. My aunt and cousins were scheduled to go on Italy a year in advance next week. Oh, that's pretty bad. Aw. Well, I'm not the Josie. It, have a wonderful day, Josie. Stay safe. It's night there. And here also. It's, have a good one, Josie. Here it's 7.30 and there it's uh, 6.30. It's dark already. All right, I'm gonna wash my pinkish. Be back, be back, guys. I'm trying to be clean, guys. I'm trying to keep my my paintbrushes clean. I'm sure Miss Carol's probably sitting there in heaven saying, May, clean your paintbrushes now. Where's Lunas? She's probably eating. I'm right here. I'm the watching. That's what I said, Laura. Yeah, no thanks. I'm getting a cruise ship doesn't appeal to me. Yeah, I don't think I would ever want to be on a cruise ship stuck in a boat with people who... Seems like cruise ships gets a lot of infections and stuff. I've heard that before. Like people come out sick with all kinds of stuff. No way. No, thank you. Yeah, because they don't have... If you, if you stay inside, they don't have open windows, so... 
ventilation filters are not clean enough. You have to open the window for air from outside to come, even in your house. No air conditioning units in office and buses and anything that doesn't open the window. You know, in the hospital, we have a rule. It says every hour you have to open the window for five minutes. It doesn't matter how cold it is. You have to open the window for five minutes every hour. Okay, I'm going to, he used a, um, he used an antiquing paste, which is like an oil-free, like an oil-type um, paste, antiquing. Hey, can you use that Prima dust that you have, the Prima powders? The Prima, yeah, but the, it's already opaque. That's more of a... This one, you mean? Not the waxes, the powders. The powder, yeah. They're opaque. Yeah, they're opaque, but I, I want to uh, put some, um, like a stain. Yeah, those. I'm going to put a stain on it. Oh. To, um, get into the crevices. You know how you would do with wood, when you do wood and you stain the wood, and you get a nice, if you go into the, the crevices, you get a nice little mark. Well, that's what you want here. Yeah. And for that, I always use my baby wipes. Baby wipes are so handy. I got two packs left. Broke into my second pack. So I'm going to have to stretch that. Right. I like baby wipes, but they are not eco friendly. You have to toss them in the regular truss because they are not uh, breaking the water. They have fibers in them. They are not paper. They are not real paper. Oh, this, this is so this water. This is a. This one here is from um, Walmart, and it's not thick like my other antique wax. Put in the water, you will see that it doesn't break like the toilet paper or the napkins or the tissue paper. Most of the paper, if you put them in the toilet, in the water, they will break after a while. But the napkin, the paper- They're not biodegradable is what you're saying. Not yeah, yes, yes, that word. Yes, that word. Exactly. You see, you speak nice English. <laughs> Sometimes I can remember words. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes I choose not to. I think it's just a choice. It's a choice that I make, not to remember. Okay, I want to apply a little bit of a different type of antiquing. I want to see if I find my other antiquing. That one's a little bit too watered down. With this wax. That one's too not very thick, this Waverly one. I think that's why I didn't use it before. This one from Folk Art is the one I always use for furniture and stuff. So we're going to use this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That song really has you on. Um... Um, you use a phrase. When the stream started, you say a phrase and the word uh, breathing something came to my mind, and that's how the song stuck to my brain. Yo quiero respirar. So, That are old-fashioned cloth baby diapers. Oh, yeah, the baby diapers they used to put on the, the kids back in the day. Back in the day, kids, they would put... Marina is saying to you, sorry, Manny, I'm making pancakes and bacon for breakfast. Oh, my God, how yummy. I, pancakes is my favorite breakfast. Um, I love, love, love 
pancakes with lots of syrup. Oh my God. I do. I'm going to put a little bit of black because I think it needs a little bit of a color pop here. I'm going to put it on the side here. I cut all my old t-shirts and uh, bread, bread sheets and stuff and use it as uh, like this one. For example, it was a pajama of mine. The green one was from my pajama of mine and the red one for, was from a bed sheet. So I cut all those and use them and rewash them in the washing machine and you don't care. And if you damage them too much, then you just throw them away. Right. I'm cooking a tamale pie and making salad later, says Lara. She's making what? Laura is making a tamale pie and tamale salad pie? later. Laura Kai? And Mar yes, Laura the witch, do you know the... Oh, one legged witch, she's making a pie? Tamale pie. Oh, I've never heard of a tamale pie. And Marina, she's making the pancakes and making some just plain, but putting chocolate chips and walnuts in some. Ah, uh, uh. Okay, they're doing it on purpose. I think so. We will read, man. I'm hungry. Yeah, I think they're trying to make me have a, um, as a Risty would say, an orgasm, a food <laughs> orgasm, though. Those are nasty women. You are. You're the one that's always using that word. Yeah, but those are making us jealous. Oh, you're saying that they're nasty. What, what is nasty about an orgasm? Come, 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 come here. Explain to me. What's nasty thing about an orgasm? <laughs> it's a good thing. It helps your brain in produce everything. That's the European mentality. Of European ment mentality. Here in the United States, we don't talk about things like that. <laughs> so no, no. You don't have orgasm in USA? <laughs> oh, I'm sure that, well, yeah, they do. <laughs> they don't talk about it. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> it's not an open concept. <laughs> uh, I love to put fresh or frozen blueberries in mine. I'm going to tab, dab, not rub. Dude, look at that, guys. Now, look. Doesn't it look like old world rustic feel? Oh, it looks more like metal. Yeah. I like Before it. Before it was looking like a leather, and now it looks more like metal. I like it. So, Jane is making, will be making an Asian salad for a party later for this afternoon. Who's Jane is? Jane Rowell. An Asian yeah. salad for a party later this afternoon. Ooh, I like egg salads. And uh, Laura is asking, Laura Carl is asking, uh, what is the tamale pie recipe? And mm -hmm. Laura, the witch woman, say, I bet if we all go together, we will have one hell of a potluck dinner. How fun will be that? We'd probably be all fat too after we got out with a big old belly ache. I'm fat already. <laughs> I'm already prepared. And Laura Cal is making bone soup in crock pot and got veggies and steak in heaven. All this talk about food is making me more hungry. Why don't you go <laughs> eat? Because I don't know what the hell to eat. Corn dog, isn't that what you always eat? No, I don't want a corn dog. That's like a temporary snack thing. I don't want a temporary snack thing. I, I want to sit like down to a meal and I don't know what I want. Go Make cook. an omelet with veggies. Cook. I, had, I had eggs this morning. I don't want eggs again. Make a spaghetti with uh, whatever you have in your fridge and cheese. You know, I wanted to have pasta for dinner. This is oh. like this is like a late lunch for me. 
I can catch you anywhere. anywhere. You cook. I didn't know you cook, Lourdes. Yeah, I cook. I don't cook as much as I did before because it's mostly me just by myself all the time. I haven't cooked a big meal in a long time. This is just for me. I, I don't see any reason for me to, you know. Doesn't Miguel live there? When he's here, yeah, but he, it's still not a lot. Doesn't mean he was here. He was there before. Yeah, he's he's here, but when he's here, but normally he's at college, and I'm by myself, me and the dog. Yeah, when you're by yourself, you just eat cereal or whatever it is. Yeah, I'll make a whatever, whatever. sandwich, you know. But I, I won't eat. A, I'm, I'm not going to sit there like I used to and pot of rice and a pot of beans and the meat in the oven and you know salad and whatever. I I won't do that. There's no. It doesn't make sense for me all by myself. You know, if Miguel wants me to make him rice or something, I'll make him rice. But he's all veggies, so. <laughs> Ooh, guys, look at that. I love it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so I'm good with that. No frozen. No, I can't, it, I can't like make a meal and then freeze. No. Oh, I do. That's why I do like the cast. I, I can do an overnight. You know, I if there's leftover, an overnight, but not freeze. Why? I don't know. You, I, my I, mother. I, I never myself freezing rice. Like I'm gonna my mother never eats or or food on the second day. Or freezing pasta doesn't it just not gonna taste the same no matter what. No, you, you some foods it's not nice to freeze, but you can make for example a, a sauce with a, a tomato and meat and freeze that and then just boil the spaghetti. Yeah. I eat by candlelight every day. I put my little light in the kitchen and I eat there. I, I save the utilities too. Yeah, sometimes I, I see I won't make it. I'll just buy it because I have I don't eat it that often. <laughs> the chicken. I like tuna. I'm gonna do, um, I had leftover ricotta and mozzarella. So what I'm going to do with the leftover is um, I'm going to make stuffed shells. Oh, I love stuffed shells. And what we used yesterday for the meat, the kids don't know this, what I used yesterday was um, wildebeest meat. What's that? It's a, uh, you know that big animal you saw hanging on my wall? Oh, that poor thing. Yeah, that was, uh, I cooked the meat from him grounded. <laughs> yep, that's what we had. I made it into, um, that was part of the meat for my lasagna. And so I'm going to use the rest of the ricotta that we have with the mozzarella, and I'm going to stuff some shells, and then I'm going to freeze it. By shells, you mean the pasta? Pasta, yeah. Gamey. No, it wasn't gamey. It's actually delicious. Depends on what they eat. No, it's, um, he's in, he's, he's, um, where, where he hunted it down was a ranch that has, um, these animals and they feed it, you know, side they, they eat from what's in the land. They're, um, how can I say it? She's got a fence on her property because she's got all these wild um, exotic animals and she's got a lot of people that comes to her farm or her ranch and hunt these things. Wilderbeast is an animal. It's like a big bull. Like, um, like, it looks like a big bull. Yeah. So 
I'm just going to heat set it because it gives it a nice seal. And it seals and almost like bakes the colors right in. We preserve the leathery look on this side. Isn't that awesome looking? I am going to um, see about putting an order for this stone paper for the store. You can make all kinds of neat things with it. You can make bags and it's, um, you make all kinds of little bags and stuff and pouches. Probably make a nice pouch, like if you sew, know how to sew zippers. I, I've never sewn a zipper, so I wouldn't know. But if you know how to sew a zipper, uh, or maybe Velcro, or one of those snaps, you can probably make like a little nice pencil pouch. So we're gonna carry that in the store. But look at that, guys! Isn't that beautiful? I absolutely love it. I'm almost having an orgasm myself. <laughs> I'm going to take some of this Deco Art Ice Espresso. That'll be a nice uh, notebook for a man to carry. Oh, man, I'm carrying this. This is mine. <laughs> well, I know, but I mean, <laughs> making gifts for men are, you know. Yeah, it would be a nice Father's Day gift. Father's not too far from that. Yep. And look, I didn't even, you know, he did it with Stamperia products. So there you go. You can use an alternative. You don't have the Stamperia water, aquella, aqua, aqua. Aquarela, aquarela. It's watercolor. Aquarela, aquarela. it's watercolor. Spanish, and you guys say, um, how do you guys say it in Greece, Greek? It's not in, in Greek. It's aquarela. It's Italian. Aquarela. Well, and also in Greek, aquarela. Well, in Spanish, aqua, aqua, the, uh, may, aqua it's uh, uh, the water, the water, the water, water in Italian. I know what aqua is because in Spanish is aquarela. Um, yeah. But the way they, he was saying, he said it's, he said it different. So he used those products. He used the, the paints, I guess, it's what he used. Ανοιχτή την βαλκονόπορτα. Αυτό δεν έχει το θέμα, βγαίνει μόνο του. I like the way they talk. Όχι, όχι, δεν έχει τέτοια θέματα. Μπορεί κάτι να ψάχνει ή να παίζει. Heat set it to bake it in. Let me clean my little surface here because you all know. Be right back. The shine looks good. Yeah, the shine is nice. I have a, a wet one and a dry one. A wet one and a dry one. You guys are probably saying she is so anal about stuff. Yeah. I did set up the website on my own. I did. 
Well, they have a template, and then I just kept dropping things in and modifying what I needed to modify. That's a... Google makes it, Google, uh, GoDaddy makes it really easy for you to set up your own website. And you can always uh, search in YouTube and find whatever you you find hard to do. Yeah. And videos to guide you. Yeah. All right. So the last thing I am going to do, guys, is I am going to probably take this one and let me dry this up. And I'm going to use, make sure I get some of the residue. Imagine me finishing that thing and I will still haven't finished a tiny envelope. That's slow. Ah, oh. <laughs> Laura wants moussaka. Moussaka. What is that? Okay, moussaka. It's um, a thing that you cook in the oven, and it's um, a layer of uh, eggplant, a layer of, of zucchini, a layer of potato, a layer of rinsed meat, like you do in lasagna uh, with tomato. And then on top of it, a layer of bechamel. Bechamel is the sauce with the flour and the milk and the butter. Mmm. Sounds like bechamel. Sounds like bechamel, doesn't it? Then what? You said, then it sounded like you said bechamel. Bechamel, the kiss. Okay. Bechamel. Bechamel is one of the basic uh, sauce of the French cuisine. Oh, I need nails. I can unstick it. Okay, this is the notebook that are in our shop, and we are going to probably use this. Well, I like her, but I think that for her, I would have to, um, let's see, I have to cut some of her. And it's not going to wrap all the way around unless I do some mod podging and the nail again. I could probably do that. She's pretty. Isn't she beautiful? Uh, oh, let's, let's do her. I was looking on the screen and I was wondering who is the, the she. This is also from Stamperia's rice paper. And. I haven't eaten. I need to eat something. I normally don't eat until about two. So as you can see, it doesn't go all the way in. So what I'll probably do is whatever's cut from um, the bottom, like this little piece here, I could probably put it here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to trim that and I'm going to glue it down first. And then we're going to from there. I'm just using the matte gel um, by Hodge. I'm on, I'm on. Si me preguntas, es por cualquier. No put going in the right direction because I'm such a goofball and I'm known for doing mistakes like that. And I put it on backwards. And I should protect, hold on. Protect our surface there. Is that your laptop that makes that noise? Yeah, my computer's acting up. It's my. It's not my laptop. It's the, the desktop. 
uh, Evelyn is saying that it's 2, 2 p.m. here, May, so you can eat. I can eat? Okay. Evelyn said so. So we're going to eat. I have an amazing washi tape, but it's transparent like plastic, and it's so extremely hard to get to peel it off from the backing. I'm gonna have pastelon. I think that's what I'm gonna run downstairs. I'm gonna probably put it oh, down. I want to see that. Okay, let me put the camera on to Aristi. Yeah, Aristi is trying to unstick the the washi tape from the back. Why did you put that in a plastic? I put the plastic so it doesn't glue down on the next page in the back. Oh, I thought you, you were gluing it on the plastic. Sorry, I wasn't watching. Uh -huh. I want to eat my tortellini with vodka sauce. Say, say, say. I'm going to go and get something to eat. You want to make sure you, you, you work your way on these so that your bubbles, you don't get any bubbles. And get this down. Now I'm going to go get something to eat. I'm going to trim all the extras. All right, I'm going to go get something to eat. I'm going to put the camera on her wristy and she's going to show you what mess she's got going on over there. It's not a mess. I was trying to unstick. Well, you said you're unsticking something. You had. Okay. I have this magnificent washi tape. This washi tape is magnificent. And let me put it in the background so you can see. It's magnificent. Magnificent. I love it. But if you see, it's, uh, it, it's transparent. It's like plastic. It's plastic. So it's extremely hard to peel the sticker from the back. That's why I was having a hard time. All this time I was talking, I was trying to pull the sticker from the back. The wash tip is stunning. I love that. And you see, it's yum, 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 yum. So pretty, 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 pretty. But it's extreme hard, hard to peel. So I will do some stopping first because it's boring. So all this, all this time I was trying to pull this thing, this thing. And this is a viola verecunda flower. So that was that was that was what I was doing for the past. And this tiny tiny crab is what I was doing for the two hours and forty two minutes. We are like so. Yeah, I'm fast. And I will take some stamps. I have some stamps here that are you know like stamp sets like uh, post office stamps geez, on the floor. So I have those and I use them for these envelopes. And I will take this one like this. So this is Paris, this is Berlin, Istanbul, I guess this is India, United States. This is Mosha and this is United Kingdom. So which one? Say country. Oh my gosh, it's so blurry. My image in YouTube. Jeez. <laughs> we should all join stream down to see it. It's clear. Oh, it's so blurry. I can see it. That's why I stopped doing the live streams. I want to be India. I like the colors. You can't see anything I do. For what I'm doing. So, Mosha. Oh, it's too late. I already picked India. And the reason I picked India is because of the color of the paper because it, uh, I have some papers that are they are not the colors I like like this yellow lemon green thing that it doesn't look on camera so you can't see it so there are colors that I don't usually like so I take it you know 
uh, out of my comfort zone. And I will take the state on it. I love this thing. I have only one of these, the black one, but I love I love the smell of it. It, it smells like bitter almond. I sniff sniff the thing kind of it's twisted. Does anyone know how you remove the stays on from the surfaces? Because I have this acrylic uh, thing, let's call it block. And I can clear it from the stays on ink. And when I use the chicken's kitchen, the kitchen sponge to clean it, I just make marks and from clear and make it uh, not transparent. see it but i apologize for that sorry that's why i stopped doing the live streams so hey welcome back that's and, turn to you, and turn to you because look in youtube how blurry my image is i mean geez if it couldn't get and if i i if i go to you have a craft room of inventory Turn it, turn it, turn it. Is it that, is that, oh, that's lasagna, isn't it? No, this is pasta long. It's made out of ripe plantains. Okay, turn it to the side if you can, so I can see what's inside. That's a cream on top. No. Underneath. It's cheese with plantain, ripe plantains and meat. And we... Yeah, my mom's recipe. Gina, I try alcohol ink and it doesn't remove it. What did I you was asking the ladies, I was asking the ladies, how can you, how can I clear the block, you know, the stamp block from the station ink? Because I try alcohol, doesn't work. Uh, nail polish remover, doesn't work. Wash it with the sponge, you know, the scratch sponge. In the kitchen and I only damage the block. Pastelon is one of my favorite dishes with a con gandule ay Dios mio. Um stays on ink is a permanent ink. Good luck trying to there is an ink remover for stays on but good luck trying to get it removed. You might want to try Google Google on my if you can find Google on what's that this let me see. Oh, I don't know that. I haven't seen that before. What's that? That, that removes even grease, hard, stubborn grease. When we were living on base, they tell all people that are going to PCS and they have to clean out their house. Um, use that to remove the grease off vents and stuff like that, the kitchen. Oh, Murphy oil soap. I don't think that's strong enough, Miss Miss Joyce. What is Murphy oil? It's like a um, pine saw. You clean your furniture with it. You can clean your fur any wood surface, floors, cabinets. Yeah, it stays on. There's a stays on remover. It, you probably have to look into, but stays on is permanent. Guys, I'm not going to show you, but this stuff is so good. Mm. Delicious. Wow. 
que el amor se acaba. Where is Lourdes? I think she went to eat. El amor no la canta. Que el amor se acaba. Yeah, it's dry. You're trying to get it off your stamp block? Yeah. And you know what I did? I wash it uh, with the kitchen sponge, you know, the hard surface, the hard uh, side. And uh -huh. the only thing I did it, it was transparent, and now it's not like transparent, like glass, like it was before. And I covered it with scratches. But it's a stamp block. Who's going to, I mean, it's only you seeing it. Uh, the thing is, if you see. Uh, Let me put the camera to you. The block now it's too black, so I can see it's making it hard to see. Oh, that's why I wanted to clean it. No, not for any other reasons. The block is now too too dark. Mm. It's too dark, so it's making it it's making it hard to see. That's why. And before it was clear like glass, and now it's a, a milky color. Uh, it's less transparent because I scratched with a sponge. It's a it's a cheap thing that I got from China. You know, it was for a dollar. That size and was for a dollar. But the hard thing is that it's making it hard to see it because it's dirty. Yeah, that's the only reason I wanted to clean it. The tree. The thing about stays on once it's there, unless you have that stays on remover, and you might try if you can find coupon. Well, ladies, my lunch was delicious. Thank you for joining me in my lunch. Now we're going to continue this process so we can move on. Oh, my God, I let that out. Oh. No me digas que te vas. Digas que te vas. But I like the stays on ink. First of all, you can use it and stay there. And second, I like the smell of it. I have the. Uh, I think you sent it. I think you sent it to me. It was your Kiki. It was either your Kiki that stay sent me stays. On. It's the middle one. I don't remember. It's the middle one. It's not the big one, but I like it better because. It smells, it has a nice size and it has a nice decoration outside. And it smells so nice like bitter almond. And I like it. I really like it. She, you asked me the other day, do you know that thing you sent me? I'm like, nope, don't remember. No, I don't remember nothing. No me digas que te vas. No me digas que te vas. I think Lourdes went out to eat, or she's cooking. No, I'm just sitting quietly here. Why? Why, are you sad? No. What's wrong? Nothing. Are you gloomy? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just sitting here. I think she's eating. Yeah, I got a cheese stick. No, maybe you guys get it almost. What that phrase means? Don't tell me you're leaving. You okay, Lourdes? Yeah. What's wrong? 
No. It doesn't sound okay. It's it's sound it doesn't sound like something's wrong. What's wrong? No, it's just Hello, Mark. Hello, Marge. What's wrong? Hi, Marge. Nothing wrong. Just relax. Leading you don't convince us, us, you know, with the way you speak. It's like you're really, really sad. Yeah, like something's not sad. Not sad, just, I don't know. It's disappointed. Sunday. It's Sunday. It's a quiet day for me, normally. You were talking before. I know. But I got hungry and now I'm just eating a cheese stick. A cheese stick? Yeah. Mozzarella, 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 mozzarella. really good. You can send me some pasta. I think she's having mozzarella. Mozzarella stick. Mozzarella sticks. Did you fry them or did you bake them? Toaster oven. Mm. Oh, I was not lying. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you, did you Oh, you yes. Okay. They didn't hear me scream. You're going to jail, right? No. Okay. Why? Now they've not. He's he's watching um. How to get away with murder? How to get away with murder? Murder the series. Uh huh. And I've I've watched it, and I told him he would like it. He's liking it now. He's binge watching. What on Netflix? Mm hmm. I think I'm really good. Oh, you don't even need TV with um, um, not TV. You don't even need cable with um, Netflix. Good, good old time with the cable. Are you talking to your cat? Yeah. Her name is Mio. Mio makes the sound that the cats make. Mio? So her name is Mio. I know, very original. Well, is she pretty? Get her right now at the Rusty Crown. Two thirty-three. Two thirty-three. Not bad. I will flatten her out because it's almost it's a water base. It's a rice paper. Mm -hmm. No, but the Mod Podge is a water base. The glue is 233 or the rice paper? The glue is, and we're going to save all these scraps because you can run it through your Xyron machine and make washi tapes. Um, what you say, Yo, Risty? The 223 that you were saying was about the rice paper or the glue? The 233 is for the rice paper. Oh. And then these little strips, if you run it through your Xyron, you can make your own washi tape. Mm -hmm. Stamberia makes amazing rice papers. 
Uh, it's almost like a mulberry. I wouldn't say it's rice paper. It's almost like a mulberry paper. What's the difference? Uh, you can see more fibers. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fibers you can see. This is really pretty rice paper. We got yeah. silence. Everyone's eating. Everyone's like, it's lunchtime. We all need to eat. All right, guys. Talking about the video about the talking toilet paper that I know you want me, Denise. Is that the video you're talking about? Yeah, the silly toilet. Yeah, she put it on the phone, on the Facebook group. I shared it. It's a scary video. All right, look at that. Isn't that pretty? We're gonna seal it. We're gonna, I'm gonna distress the edges a little with some, with that, let me just give you a feel what it's gonna look like in here once we've sealed it with Mod Podge. Wow, work. gorgeous. Like that. It's, it looks so like leather, so it looks so steampunk. Yeah. You know, the leather inside and that lady looks so steampunk. Yes. So in here you have a little pocket you can put, you know, notes or whatever. Any leftover Chinese food? <laughs> I wanted some yesterday, but we've we've been doing really good about not eating out. And so I've been wanting some for the last couple of days. I think I've been saying that I want Chinese food, but I've been really good about eating out. Cooking. Tomorrow we're gonna put a roast in. Oh, the ink's got into my nails. Look at that. Oh, I hate when it does that. Okay. Let's get vintage photos. You know what? If I wanted to be really bold, I would put black soot. Don't you think black soot would stand out better? Oh, yeah. Is Miguel going crazy being in the house for spring break? No, because he had some reading to do. And he went to his friends yesterday, and he's going to his other friends today. Reading for pleasure. He's reading for pleasure. 
I, I just love that boy. <laughs> he is so outspoken. Yep. <laughs> He's got a great personality. He does. He does. Do you hear him? Yeah. <laughs> right here. He's also conceited. Something his mother is not. <laughs> is that a father thing then? Did you get that from the daddy? Yes, that he inherited from the father. <laughs> I don't have a father. <laughs> because that's right. <laughs> Your that's, mother is not Virgin Mary. That's right. He calls you his father. Yeah, I'm the father. Yeah, but your mother is not Virgin Mary. He has a dad. He no. didn't come from the sky. He had a sperm donor. That's what he had. Yeah, that's what we. Yeah. That's what we oh. call them when they're when they're um, deadbeats. Although he's not really typically a deadbeat because he does pay his his pay for his. No, he's just he's just in. Yeah, in. he's a deadbeat in other aspects. Yes. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, He's so funny. He's on the other side of the apartment. That's to let you know, because I have nothing on my walls, so it like echoes and everything just flows. You can't even do a a, a whisper of a fart because you'll hear it on the other side of the house. <laughs> no, so no boyfriend over ever because he'll hear everything, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh my God! He needs to have a YouTube channel. No, that's all I need. With his okay, we're gonna seal it with some of that same uh, Mod Podge the mat. We gotta go out in a little while. I was supposed to go yesterday and I didn't go. Now I have to go today. Where are you getting? Some definitely not some not definitely not some um toilet paper no i have toilet paper i'm good on toilet paper no we're gonna get some veggies and something i don't know he wants to go so he wants to go shopping i don't know what he wants to get but he said look can you go to walmart how far is walmart from where you live uh, about six minutes maybe oh that's not bad yeah it's not bad is it safe to go out? Yeah, do you guys have any cases nearby? I told you the hospital is two blocks away. So, but yeah. do you have any cases? Yeah, we got we got a case in there. They got them quarantined. Was it because you traveled abroad or I have no clue they didn't release that information? They didn't release that information? Nope. You don't know where they got it from. At least I don't know. They have to find out if they were out because then they have to warn the other people that they were in contact. Yeah. With. You know. I really haven't gone anywhere except from the door to the car. Back to the door. All my, uh, I didn't go to, I, I missed the morning mass this morning. Uh, uh -huh. and so I like to watch, you know, I like to watch John Gray and Lakewood and all that. Uh huh. They closed their buildings. Only the staff were on hand in the, in the audience. Oh, wow. Hi, Sherry. Yeah, because they were saying, and the church over here, hardly nobody went to, you know, I live on a block with like six. Yeah, six, you have, you said you, have, you live on Church Street. Yeah, they. I live on Church Street, and like hardly nobody went to any of the churches. The bell rang, and they echoed extra because there's nobody in the streets. Look at that! How that looks. Beautiful. It's different. Look at the difference. This is a little. Oh, Hi, Sherry. Sherry's in the house. Happy birthday to your hubby. Yeah, happy birthday. And then this side, look how pretty that looks. It makes a huge difference. You should post it on the steampunk group, me. Which is back. What's what's steampunk group? 
there is a huge steampunk group in Facebook. It's all about steampunk stuff. Uh, I, don't, I don't do a lot of steampunk, but... Yeah, but that looks like steampunk. No, do do. So this project, this baby is almost, it's just pretty easy to do guys. And we just kind of alternated and substituted products. Not too bad. We still got a leather effect. So, and Tony's Zendak, Zen, oh, I forgot him. Zen, Zanny Dakis. Zanny Dakis, Zanny Dakis. He was right. It's not about the product, it's about the paper. The paper is what gives it that leather effect. He's very talented, very, very smart. You have to date that man. Man, we all know that you're not interested in his mind. No, I'm interested. Yeah. <laughs> uh, He's interested for his personality. <laughs> yeah. I'm interested in his... He's his, um, interested in his personality. Right. Yeah, his personality. I'm going to bring that. Look at that smile. I mean, oh my God. You know what you need to do? Find this picture on the internet and put it on, on as a Sarah, my best friend say, Antonis Zanidakis. Oh my God, he's so cute. Damn it. <laughs> Antonis Zanidaki, you are a hottie. <laughs> Did your mama ever tell you you are a hottie? No, otherwise he will be called the Dipodas. The Dipodas. What's that? What's that? The is a Asian tragedy, Greek tragedy. It's about a guy that he's in love with his stepmom. You use gesso paint and triple thick to make foil leather oh i never tried that technique i've never tried that i've used just the vintage photos and craft Ooh. vintage photos Ink, Tim holds distress inks with some craft paper, crinkle it up, distress it, and then seal it with um, Mod Podge. Use that. Look how that looks. Doesn't it look amazing? I love the way it looks. And I can come in here with a little bit of the vintage photos and make it even more vintage. -y. What is triple thick? It's like a, a sealant, a glaze sealant. <sighs> you two are breathing deeply. What's up with the breathing deeply today? It's Sunday. <laughs> it's spring. <laughs> if you're talking about the what she's working on now, that's soft cover. They're both soft cover. Yeah. 
I use rice paper and one of the notebooks that are in my um, our store. And I just covered it up with matte, um, this meat, matte Mod Podge. And I got that beautiful, look at that. Very quick and easy, I think. How long have we been on? Over three hours. <laughs> hey, three hours, that's not bad. She made a little cover in a journal, and I'm still haven't done an envelope, so that was fast for her. <laughs> the the cover is soft. Show her me. The the yeah, that it's soft. Yep. It's soft. It's like leather, but it's not. It's a stone paper. It's faux leather. Yeah, so it looks like this. It's a it's a paper that's pliable and it feels like leather. The 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 outer cover and the in, inner book, they're all soft cover. They're all yep. soft. Yep. Yeah, everything is nice and soft, and you can mold it, shape it however you want, and it works beautifully, guys. Look at that. I want to shape this corner here really just a bit because I need it to round off to. Hold on, I got a phone call. Well, that gives you an idea of what to do with your rice papers. You can add a little charm. You can attach a charm there. Yeah, that's that. I'm done. <laughs> can you get that at Michael's? No, absolutely not. Um, you can. I'm going to order some and have some in my shop. Um, probably in the next week or so. Um, but it's going to take a while because it's coming. Ladies, I got to go. My daughter-in-law needs me. Oh, is everything okay? She's got to go to the hospital and I'm going to have to head out to New York. Oh, okay. I'm going to carry your tea. Stay, stay safe. safe. Drive safe, uh, please. Don't, safe. don't drive too crazy. Nah. Bye. 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 Um, but we'll have a year, um, in our shop. It's amazing. I love it. It's very pretty. It's really pretty. Denise says that she loves it. Mark says so cool. Okay. All right, guys. So safe safe yes yes that's it guys that's my project for today if i might just jump in later on tonight um but it'll be later and you could probably put a little attachment here um you cut another piece of the thing and then do a metal claps i put a um magnet or something some kind of a class close it seal it looks great it's really great yeah it's great i love it i love the way it turned out i had this little i'm sitting here thinking okay i gotta create something i don't know what to create i have rice papers and um i have stone paper that, that came in a while ago and i'm gonna create something with what i have here and so glad i did it
it soon. All right, guys, thanks for joining us this afternoon. I will probably jump on um, later tonight, maybe after eight. I will try to jump on and do another video with you guys. I'm loving this here that he has going on. Um, and I want to see what I can do. I'm loving that. But I'm loving him more. <laughs> Don't make me send the link to the video, to the live stream to him. Oh, my God. <laughs> I wonder if he, uh, uh, I should introduce him to my daughter just, just so that, you know, I don't even want to throw this piece away because that's my little inspirational dude. I'm serious. I'm not throwing that away. Guys, thank you for joining us. Don't forget to smack the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I will see you guys tonight, probably around 8 Central, which is 9 Eastern. Okay, guys, take care. Happy Sunday. Stay safe. Till next time. Bye. Bye, bye, y'all. I see you.